Howdy, and welcome to Changed, chronological, haunted, anonymous, interconnected narrative, guide each decision. This is by the Haunted PS1 community. Uh, there's a bunch of creators, and we'll, we'll shout them out and talk more about it, but, but there's an intro video we should watch first. Lucy can be saved. You have to go back. You have to destroy the rituals. Do you go to Wyoming? Or will you go to Kyoto? Now, what if you picked the other option? So the premise of this game is a bunch of different creators came together and made games based off of each other. So there's, I'm guessing, a first game. And from there, two creators, I assume it's going to be a, a you know dual choice every single time, but the creators only know what happens in the game before there. So like once we get, you know, five or so games out, the creators won't know what the first one was. Uh, but, you know, we'll be making decisions that will branch off into uh, different games uh, based on, you know, the, the choices we make. Now, there's a lot of creators here, uh, and I think I got them all written down, so we're going we're gonna to go through them. <clears throat> People who made games for this are Neither Nathan, Francisco Lewis, Shad, uh, with parentheses, uh, Vicosoft, V-I-C-H-O, Soft, of Vladimir Lore, Paper Cookies, uh, Victor Kraus, Octal Otter Games, David Rodman, Kate Killick Cure, I Williams, Almost Sorry, Scissorware, Autumn Rain, Neil uh, Nowth, I think that's what it is, my mic's a bit in the way, uh, Lunar Finch, Terry Cavanaugh, Coulter, Razorfinger, Modus Interactive, Vapor Shark, Fever Dream Johnny, Simi Worms, Kevin Hutchins, uh, Jan Hajek, I believe that's pronouncing, Hajek might be off, but I. Mm? Sorry. Um, Rune Tranwick, Z Bill R Entertainment, Orcus, Bryce Butcher, um, Dindrury, Cuddlefresh, Oculto, uh, Maya, also with parentheses of Vicosoft, Scythe, Devlog98, Clement Infinite Noodles, Nikita, V. Oh, shit. I knew I was going to mess up this one. Vichuzian? Vichuzhanen? I'm so sorry. Uh, Secret Cream, Spacium, uh, Pasta's Future, Neuro Neuro Boo, Boo Neuro Boo. Um, sorry. <laughs> Mike Flynn Mitchell, Coulter uh, Weheimer, Wehmeyer, I guess maybe, and Adam Pipe. A lot of a lot of creators in there. A lot of games uh, being made. So I thought this game seemed interesting since you know it's. A big collection of games. I thought that the premise, like the telephone style premise, sounded uh, interesting. So, you know, uh, go support those developers. Um, this game is available for free, uh, but, you know, they all have their own like pages and such, uh, so you can hunt them down and support them. I would appreciate that. I would also appreciate it if you checked out the Google Doc in the description, which has links to every single one of the still active causes for everything that I've, each of these Hollets will play a Wayne videos, you know, there was like some, something that was like, oh, you know, this person needs support. Um, I went ahead and collect them all into one spot. So, uh, you know, if you're financially able, I would appreciate it if you would uh, check out that Google Doc and, uh, you know, support some people who need some help. So let's begin the game proper. We will, I guess, get changed. Okay, so we are going to start off with just one choice. That makes sense. Uh, let's check out the readme. Um... Change is a, a collaboration between devs from the Haunted PS1 community. Games were developed one after the other uh, with a choice at the end of each game leading to a, a game by another developer. Each developer only had the context of the games preceding them in their branch. Games in other branches were left hidden. There were no communication between developers during development. The project was organized and developed by Adam Pipe and uh, Coulter Wemeyer uh, with sound design by Victor Kraus. The trailer was cut by Oculto. Thanks for playing. So let's jump into our first game. Let's inspect it. Um, this is the 
the Haunted PS1 Type 1 Video Cassette Tape 1. Uh, oh, that's cool. It, it tells you, like, who... Um, who the games buy and stuff. I was I was interested to see like what kind of, you know, uh, you know, documentation it would have for like, oh, you know, who who did what. So I I appreciate that. So let's let's play tape one. So we were told that the Antichrist is one, so I'm guessing that game one probably starts from you know, Antichrist stuff. Hello, Lucy. Mommy, I'm scared. I'm scared too, honey. When can we stop hiding? I don't know, darling. I'm sorry. Okay, then they're just gonna repeat it. The television. I don't think this works anymore. Well, that's a shame to have a TV uh, that's not working. Uh, we can see that we've we've boarded ourselves out <laughs> out there. It's dangerous out there. It's even dangerous to be looking out there now. Well, okay, well, then we won't look. It's interesting that we've boarded up the windows, but the door seems to, uh, just leaving the door, let it be, I suppose. Somebody wants in. We probably shouldn't let them in, but I'm gonna go open the door. I just wanted to check uh, what was going on with the rest of this house. Open the door. I can't do this. They're here for Lucy. Okay, well, someone's out there. Who wants Lucy? Uh, we can't really see them. So maybe they're, um... What's that, Mommy? Who's that at the door? Uh, I don't know. Stay to the... Yeah. Okay, well, they were talking to us. Um, but then, you know, lights went out. Lucy's gone. The door is open. We will leave. They took Lucy. Time to see. Time to see and old friend. Interesting. Uh, perfect velvet video. Man Car Time. Wow. We all love Man Car Time. Great film series. This was our favorite movie. I mean, a lot of people like Man Car Time. How did people have time uh, for this before the end of the world? Yeah, you know, just a whole lot of nothing to do, Arcade. This machine is broken, and I have no time to play anyways. I wish Lucy was here. She loved video games. Who doesn't love video games? This became pretty much real life. The horror movies. The drama movies. I don't need drama to cry right now. Okay, so it's just more of the more of the same comedy. I wish I could laugh right now. Yeah, you know, I I love Hellraiser. My <laughs> it's one of my favorite comedy films. Um, an hourglass. I hope he can help me. Action movies. I'm not a fan of movie where everything explodes. I think we can say that nowadays the romance is dead. Oh, that's a shame. There also doesn't appear to be anyone uh, manning the the front. How is this whole place working if there's no more electricity? That that would be a good question to ask. Probably have a generator of their own. Oh, I didn't ch check out the camera. Well, well, well. Look who's back after all this time. How can I help you, Catherine? He took her. The Antichrist took Lucy. Oh my. I don't even want to think what they do to the children it doesn't matter i'll get her back and how do you plan on doing that if you don't mind me asking i mean i can feel your pain cat but she's probably already gone i know i don't plan on getting her now what do you mean oh that cat has three eyes i just noticed if the Antichrist has never existed in the first place, he would have never been able to get Lucy. Now I see. That's why you need my help. You're the only one that can help me, Kronos. Oh, shit. We just went straight to Kronos. I'm flattered, Catherine, but my powers are limited. Even more now. You're bluffing. You know me well. The Antichrist is too powerful to go against like this. And I don't see what I win in all this. You owe me your life, Kronos. Mm, you're right. Tell me your plan. I want to make sure he's never born. I see. You know there was a lot of rituals in the past so he could come to power today, right? Yeah. I want to stop them. You'll have to. You'll have to, each one of them, if you really want this to work. I can see various points in time which helped him climb to power. But I can't find the conjuration. It doesn't matter. 
I said I'll stop them all. I know, but you'll have to start by the con the conjuration ritual. And how can I uh, discover which one was the conjuration one? I guess I guess you won't. I have uh, two possible places. Uh, yeah, it, it, make, making us make a choice. Yeah, sh show them to me. Here they are. The first one is Wyoming, 1968. The second, Kyoto, in 1986. Shouldn't I go for the first one? Not exactly. If it's not the conjuration, you'll just be losing time. And time is the most precious thing you have right now. Okay, I think I'm ready to choose. All right, but first, if you need my help, uh, while you're in the past, use this hourglass. So, what's it going to be? Okay, I guess we have to make a choice. Also, Kronos being like, oh, hey, God of Time, uh, you know what the most precious thing is? It's, uh, it's, it's time, believe it or not. Okay, well, we have a uh, choice, Kyoto or Wyoming. It sounded like Kronos was kind of pushing us towards Kyoto since we were like, well, shouldn't I just go to Wyoming? So, yeah, let's, let's check out Kyoto, see what was happening. And, well, I guess this is 68 and this was 86. Let's see what's happening in the 80s in Kyoto. Okay, and our our chain spirals back. We can come back to uh, previously played games. Let's inspect uh, Kyoto 1986. Uh, Adam Pipe, Victor Kraus. We move and click. That's all we need to do. Don't mess with time. Please rewind. Oh, don't worry. We'll be, we'll be sure to. Okay, well... Here we are in Kyoto. We turn around and we can't go back that way. There's kind of like some foreshortening happening there. Look at that. That looks like, look at that sky. That looks like bad news. Hey, can you hear me? Who's there? Kronos? Is that you? Yes, I'm talking to you through your hourglass. Are you in 1986? Yes, I am, but something's wrong. The sky is all red looking. Damn, I think you're already too late. Too late? Aren't you the god of time? The Antichrist is messing with my powers. I think I sent you to just after the conjuring started. After? Can I still stop it? Maybe, but it won't be easy. My readings tell me the conjuration is close. Good luck. I really like the, the visual style for, for uh, this one. This one looks pretty cool. I kind of like the like interesting like foreshortening they do for like... Oh, the, you can't go that way. So, you know, you just kind of make it like... Kind of like diorama style, like fade off. This is a surprisingly ominous looking door. I have a feeling it's inside this building. All right, time to set things right. See you soon, Lucy. But Lucy, like L Lucy Fur, perhaps? Wait, this is just a regular office. Who would you conjuring at their place of work? Don't be fooled, cat. The types that conjure up the devil, they kind of fit the office dweller lifestyle. That does make sense to me. Really? That's interesting. I better be careful then. Yeah, we, got, we gotta be careful about those damnable office workers and their, their Satan worship. Well, I guess the Antichrist is... Antichrist, Antichrist is devil. I'm, I'm gonna just go out on a limb and assume Antichrist and devil. You know, they're, they're birds of a feather. They flock together. Is that a sword? That's strange. Why would this be in an office? I might as well take it with me. Who knows what I might face. Hmm, the sword is pretty heavy. Wielding a sword successfully has nothing to do with the weight. You need to focus first, then strike. How do I focus? Try holding down the left mouse button. Okay, so I, uh... You have to, like, charge up your, your attack. That sword, like, starts going at it. And then once, once you unleash, you have a, a... Oh, that hurt me. I was wondering if this was like gonna be like a yokai or something, because I think there's a yokai that's shaped like a um, like a lantern like that. Um, I thought it was a bit different, but I don't know. What the hell do I know? This wall is awfully different from the obvious. I wonder. Yep, we're gonna slice it down. Okay, so we have a sword now. We've learned how to use our sword. It's a secret passage, of course. Be careful, cat. I sense bad energy coming from in there. Don't worry. I got this. Lucy's got a hell of a mom. Yeah, we have we have weapon. We're armed. So right now, we the only um, enemies that we're seeing are these like lantern thingies. Uh, they don't really pose much of a threat. They do hurt us if I were to walk into them. Uh, but I'm guessing that that's just like a tutorial 
a type enemy to like, okay, here, you know, get to grips with, you know, controls and what we're doing. You know, now we have moving ones. Still doesn't really pose too much of a threat. I mean, it's coming at me menacingly, but, you know, it's still a paper lantern and we have sword. So we're, we're doing, I'd say we're doing pretty good uh, if, if I had to, you know, toot my own horn on this one. Because, you know, what are what are these guys even going to do? Because we can even, like, just, you know, charge up. And uh, I thought we were going to get both of them in one. Um, who? Well, um, you know, I was talking shit. So, of course, I was, was talking shit. So I got hit. It's, it's the way of the world. We can do, like, kind of a quick hit. Um, it still requires a little bit of charging. Uh, but honestly, it's probably just best to, like, full charge and then uh, go at them. Uh-oh. Blue ones, and they shoot fire. Oop. I thought I got it, but I did not. we got to be careful of those fireballs. I am glad that whenever you defeat the enemies, it does the, like, little camera pan to show, like, oh, hey, you know, door opened to kind of reorient us, send us, you know, on our way. Oop. Oh, I didn't die. I wonder how many hits uh, these have, because sometimes it feels like I cut them down like in one, and sometimes it takes a couple whacks <clears throat> with the sword uh, to get the job done. And I wonder if they have varying levels of health, uh, if I'm just not doing it right. <laughs> you know, it, uh, all these things could be true. This wall is weird. It's in, um, like that, like texture warping that you would see like in, um, you know, PS1 games and such. Uh, which, I mean, this is haunted PS1 community. We're taking damage, but we don't have, like, a health bar or anything. So I'm not exactly sure how to tell, you know, how close to dead we are. If maybe it's, like, a, a Halo-style regenerating health. What are these? They're just books. Oh, God, we're definitely night. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Is this The Conjuring? Yeah, it is. Hmm, I'm thinking. Is there something we can do? I have one idea, but it's a bit crazy. I'll take crazy in these crazy times. If you bust up the Conjuring Shrine enough, it might summon the Antichrist. And then I can kick his ass. You got the right idea. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know, just... We'll summon the, the Antichrist, and then we'll just we'll just beat up the Antichrist. You know, it's, it's easy, you know? You, you don't gotta complicate things. You know, just, you know... Keep it, keep it simple, you know? Keep it going. Kill the Antichrist. I mean, we have a sword. What's the Antichrist going to have? Definitely not also a sword. Uh, so we're, we're probably doing pretty good. So I guess come out, Antichrist. Who disturbs my conjuring? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, Catherine, it's you. And you brought Kronos along. Did you really think your little time heist would work? Damn, of course he saw us coming from miles away. Taste my blade, wretched scum. Whoa, cat, you're an eager one. You took Lucy away. You will die for that. Ha 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 ha. You mean kill me with that thrift shop sword? Shut up and die. Hold on just a minute before you do that. I have something to offer. A little, little reality warping elevator. What I see here is the opportunity for a wonderful trade. You want to get Lucy back, right? Don't listen to him, cat. Well... I also need something back. I'm missing a nice and flashy host, or fleshy host. Never. Hey, this is a pretty sweet deal I'm offering. Jump into the pit and become my host. And you'll get to see Lucy again, plus you'll be super powerful. You could be rich and reunited with your daughter. Don't do it, cat. It's a trap. Come on. You know you want the power to set things right. Okay, so we either have to become the Antichrist or fight the Antichrist. Oh, what does that say at the bottom? I guess it's the the name of the next game. I, you know, I think I, we we got this sword. We gotta fight the Antichrist, and we're going to be doing that in Showdown, uh, game by Cure. Uh, we we can attack and deflect. Those are our only controls. Okay, well, let's let's get in there and have a showdown with the Antichrist. Disappointing. You are a fool, even though you. Ha You're a fool if you ever thought you had a chance at winning. No, this can't be it. I can't die here. Lucy. Catherine, don't give up. 
by divine blessing, your strength will allow you to strike evil from this world. How futile. Okay, so, I, okay. We're, we're going to fight. Okay, so it's, it's pretty simple. We just... We just... We click to attack. We gotta deflect, so we can't get too... Can't get too, uh... You know, happy with it. We gotta... Gotta pay attention to uh, deflecting these attacks. It seems like our goal is to back uh, the Antichrist up into uh, Kronos' light. It seemed to be uh, what we're going for here. A bit of a tug-of-war kind of deal going on. It's just, you know, it's, it's a sword fight. You just gotta keep it, keep it simple, you know. Take a breather, deflect. You, you know, it's just, you can't keep... Oh, oh. Yeah, see, oh, the... See, the devil putting in the work. Coming at me with the multi-blows. Devil can also deflect attacks. Uh, so, gotta be gotta be careful for uh, that combo. Also, just probably, you know, you gotta give the Antichrist a little bit of respect. Can't just go whole hog on attacking. But also, you know, attacking, you know, is how you ultimately will win. The Antichrist is dead, for now. Catherine, you must listen to me. Once you get go back, your life will be in danger. Kronos ne oh, Kronos never wanted to help you. He sent uh, you back in time to facilitate the summoning of the Antichrist in person. Okay, so this isn't Kronos. This is Kronos' cat who's uh, helping us. You were meant to die here in the past. As long as Kronos lives, you and your child's lives will never know peace. With his meddling, the Antichrist can come back at any moment. Once you go back, you must kill Kronos before he realizes what happened. Lucy, she's alive back at your home. That's as much as I can say. But trust me when I say that Kronos' death ensures her well-being. Did Kronos really betray me? And why so cryptic about Lucy? Is she really safe? I have to make sure she's okay. What should I do? We have to confront Kronos or search for Lucy. Um, you know, I... You probably need to confront Kronos. I, I trust I trust the cat, so we'll go ahead and just go to Loop Town, it would seem. Loop Town, we can move, um, we can interact. This game's by Lunar Finch. So let's let's begin. Hello again, my friend. Friend, you lied to me. Hmm, how so? You expect me to die fighting the Antichrist. Ugh, I hate when that happens. You work for them. No, that's not strictly true. I consider us to be business partners. You see, they seed fear and hate in the hearts of humans. And when the time comes, I reap the harvest. What the hell are you saying? Your world is stuck in a loop. This iteration is dying, so your time has come. Not if I stop you first. What? With a sword? Ha. A mortal like you can do nothing against me. Your place is in the dust. But sir, this woman served you well in the past. Does she not deserve a reward? Hmm. All right. I guess she does. Now, at the end of your world, I grant you one final day with your daughter. Will that make you happy, Catherine? Mm -hmm. This isn't over. Oh, it never is. You have one day. Make sure it counts. <laughs> okay, well, here we are in Loop Town. Cat managed to, to do us a solid and get us one more day with our daughter. Huh? Where am I? Oh, no. Oh, I should not have said that. This is bad. What is bad? What is this place? Is Lucy here? Kronos has lied. Kronos has lied again. He has trapped us. He is toying with you. I'm so sorry. But... Wait, this might give us the edge we need. Kronos derives his power from three artifacts. They should be here somewhere. So if I find him, I'll be able to defeat him? I hope so. Oh, but we do not have much time. At midnight, your world will end. Then let's begin the search. You still have to uh, find some of Kronos' belongings. Remember, you have until midnight to find all three. Hurry up. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Okay. I see. Hopefully this wasn't fucking up the recording. My, my fingers were in the wrong spot. Um, the recording does seem to still be going. Um, so luckily I didn't seem to mess anything up. Oh, there's Lucy. 
or I assume that's Lucy. Uh, we had an interesting visual style, obviously, kind of uh, invoking Animal Crossing. Uh, a little sm- oh, here's another Lucy. So soon now, Mommy. The Starless Night is coming. No, oh, well, that's probably good. That's probably not bad. I guess um, yeah, I could have assumed that Cronus's artifacts would be uh, hourglasses. I am the eternal hourglass. The flow of my sands is the inevitable passage of time. I have existed forever and forever I will. Okay, well, I guess we collected it. I'm not sure if we have like a inventory screen or such. Uh, but I mean, we got one of the things we needed. Oh, hey, another Lucy. Why didn't you come for me? Did you forget mommy? I thought you loved me. Oh, you know, sometimes parents, you know, you got to go confront the God of time. Uh, you know, it, it, it happens. You'll understand when you get older, uh, you know, the things that, you know, sometimes grownups have to make hard, difficult decisions to go fight the God of time. Uh, it's to make sure that we'll be safe in the long run. You can't stop this. Just give up. Stay here with me, mommy. Well, yeah, I guess we could, you know, it's a nice place. I am the crystal eye. I see the past, present, and future of all beings, real or imagined. I look at the never wers, might bees, and could haves of humanity and judge them. Okay, well, I mean, we got two of the things now. It's slowly getting darker and darker. Okay, I wasn't sure if uh, Lucy would have a different dialogue, um, you know, with, with the passing of time. It's just, just a rock there. Some pumpkins. I mean, some kind of gourd. Might not be a pumpkin. Uh, you know, who who doesn't love a good gourd? You know, there, there isn't any more to that thought. It's just like, yeah, damn, gourds are pretty good. Let's see what this Lucy has to say. <laughs> this is where Daddy is buried, do you remember? I can't wait to meet uh, him again soon. Little kid, uh, you know, trying to throw her life away so she can see uh, Daddy. <laughs> I am the scythe of endings. When the last breath of the multiverse is exhaled, it... W- I will be there to treasure it. Do not fear me, as I am here for you. All right, okay. This is, you know, just like Lucy. You know, all of us, all of us are always excited to, to, uh, to you know, be reunited with a uh, with a daddy. You know, we're all we're all gunning for it. It's it's you know, what, what more could you want out of this life other than to find your own personal daddy? Uh, and well, we have all the we have all of Cronus's junk, so we'll see what the cat has to say about it. Oh, I see you found the three artifacts. And just in time, it is almost midnight. I saw some bad things while I was looking for these. Tell me, what is this place? Those things, they aren't Lucy, right? I am so sorry you had to go through this experience. This place can bring out some of your worst memories. But it, uh, but it is not the real Earth. You can still save it. And the real Lucy. It is time. Are you ready to face Kronos? Uh, I am. Let's kick his ass. I love that Catherine's just, like, very gung-ho about, like, oh, no, I'm just going to beat the shit out of my problems. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good way to live. Hmm? Excuse me? You weren't meant to return from the halls of time. Never mind. You are too late. Your world is sublimating as we speak. I hope you enjoyed your last day. You can't say I'm not generous. Boss. Hmm. Kronos. This woman has fought bravely for her world. I believe humanity deserves another chance. You too? I won't tolerate this. I am Lord of Time. I am the all-consuming... Oh, shut up already. We'll brandish the artifacts. It's over, Kronos. What? How? No, you know this can't be happening. A mortal should never bear this power. All right, Catherine, I concede. This world must end. It is not my choice. But I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next one. Return my artifacts, and I'll keep my word. He's lying again. Kill him, Catherine, and take his power for yourself. It's the only way to stop the loop. Uh, should I? Uh, so we can be reborn, or we can take Kronos' power. I think we should take Kronos' power. You know, Catherine was very like, yeah, let's, let's kick his ass, so let's, let's do it. Let's inspect. The Unraveling. A thrilling conclusion. Uh, this game is by Modus Interactive. We can move, we can use Artifact, and we can switch Artifact. Okay, so, you know, we've, we've already beat the Antichrist, so I guess it's time to beat the God of Time. Logical progression. Where, where are we? 
We are nowhere. An unplace. I have failed my duties as the god of order. Kronos has begun to unravel time itself, rather than cede his power to you. The artifacts provide a small degree of uh, temporal stability. You may continue to exist here, for now. So what can we do to stop this? Kronos will not take Lucy away from me. I also love the uh, voice lines that they have for when they talk. It's really good. You still possess the artifacts, perhaps? Yes, I can see vortexes of crystallized time forming in the wake of Kronos' wrath. If you gather their power, you should be able to uh, assume Kronos' power and replace him as god of time. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm coming, Lucy. I will guide you through this unplace as many times as it takes to stop Kronos. Let's go. Oh, okay, shit, it's a, it's a shooter. Okay, we, we can use the scythe to break obstacles. The eye reveals vortexes. And the hourglass distorts time. Hold left. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to use the hourglass. Uh, I don't really understand. I don't really understand uh, how the hourglass functions. Um, I think I think it said something about holding it down. Um, oh, did I die? No, okay. It was just a little bit longer there. So the eye will reveal secrets to us, but I might have fucked it up by missing that one. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and I don't, I don't understand how to use the um, the uh, hourglass at all. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, the hourglass. I guess you just have to hold it for a while for it to actually work. Either that, or that was just um, convenient timing. I'm not exactly. Oops. Whoops. I was trying to go towards that. That um. Uh, yeah, the vortex. Okay, we use the. Oh, the hourglass, if we use it, I guess, restarts the level is the idea. Kind of interesting. So we do have we have to hit every single vortex, it would seem. I'm not exactly sure where this one is. Oh, there it is. Okay, it was just a little, just a little bit hidden. Um, you know, being a little, little sneaky about it. We'll go ahead and grab our scythe. So I guess we, we do have to hit every single vortex to uh, succeed at whatever the hell we're doing. Because, um, I mean, what, what uh, Themis? Is that what the cat's name was? The God of Order? Uh, was like, oh, you know, if we, if, we, if we do this, we're, like, collecting, like, crystallized time to... Um, we're collecting crystallized time to be able to replace Kronos. I mean, is the the stated idea. You know, we were told that we were, that's what we were doing. Although, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a bit of, I mean, you, you can see, I'm having a bit of trouble uh, with this one. Um, uh, I mean, when we started, I was like, oh, it's kind of like a, like a shooter, but I mean, like, <laughs> what it, more, you know, you know, Kind of invokes for me, you, you know, it's like like a like a Star Fox, uh, kind of situation. Uh, it does seem a little difficult to gather every single one of these um, uh, crystallized time vortex thingies. Yeah, like I keep I keep messing up there. So we're being told that we need to restart. But what if what if we just didn't? What if I went to the end? Like, I mean, I guess, I guess I should assume that we do need to do what the cat said, um, and, you know, correctly do this. Uh, so I, I guess I'll restart again, and I'll, uh, give this another, another couple shots, try to get to the end. Oh, that was the final, uh, that was the final vortex, and we just have to... Uh, confront Kronos, so we're I guess we're going to be approaching the the boss of the stage. Um, this one's this one's kind of 
well, obviously it's strange, but um, it's just kind of kind of a little little difficult to <laughs> to get all of those time vortexes. Um, felt like it maybe. Maybe I, I probably just wasn't playing great, but also just felt like a little bit more difficult than... Oh, whoops. I accidentally cut through um, some of the dialogue. Uh, Kronos, show yourself, coward. I wonder if that was like a checkpoint uh, that we reached now that we're going to fight Kronos, or what exactly is going to go on here? Hello, my old friends. Catherine, Themis, Themis? I don't know. Kronos, you have to stop this madness. The entire multiverse will cease to be. The multiverse will cease to have ever been. The gods have grown corrupt. Even Themis, the god of order, uses you as a tool. Themis wants to stop you, Kronos, and I'll do anything it means. To, uh, I'll do anything if it means I can get Lucy back. Foolish. The appearance of the Antichrist set this path in motion, and it must now end. Okay, so I guess it's a boss fight time with Kronos. It's interesting because the um, the eye essentially only like points out like, oh, here's the things that you need to go for. Uh, use the crystal eye and try and find the weak point. Uh, whereas like you know, the um, the scythe is actually an attack, and the um, uh, the hourglass is like just for like resetting the level essentially. <laughs> Not exactly. Oh, oh! Am I actually doing damage now? Something seemingly happened. So I'm guessing you have to be like spot on with these weak spots, uh, and I'm just probably oop, not uh, not hitting them like dead on, and that's why uh, Kronos wasn't getting damaged. I thought it was up there. Uh, yeah, there we go. Managed to, to get it. So you know, this this one's kind of kind of interesting. Um, I will say I, I don't. Th I think this is probably my least favorite of them that we've played uh, so far. Um, I do like not to say I, I dislike it, um, but it's it, it's just uh, funny for how like you know obviously you know the creator had only the knowledge of what came before um, to make this one. So it was interesting to like go from Animal Crossing, um, you know, style like walk around a little town and collect artifacts. And then, uh, you know, the next person would be like, well, he has some artifacts. I guess you're going to use that to fight Kronos and <laughs> Star Fox, essentially. Kronos can also take well, quite a beating, it would seem. Just attacking us with, you know, throwing these, like, polygon rectangles at us, trying to, to give us a, a, a bonk, trying to bonk or donk, uh, which will, you know, probably be bad. Um... Previously, like, um, uh, whenever I run into anything, it kind of, like, threw us into, like, a stun animation. I'm not sure if it would still function that way, um, if we get hit, if it's like, oh, now you have to restart because you took damage, or, yes. Um, yeah, we just get stunned for a bit. Maybe the idea is if you get stunned too many times in a row, you die. You cannot stop the unraveling. Now, Catherine, use the power you collected from the temporal vortexes. Make yourself the new god of time. Catherine's going like Super Saiyan. The multiverse should ha never have been. And with that, we've uh, destroyed Kronos. And we will become god of time. And there we go. We've uh, we've rescued Lucy. We still have our artifacts since, I guess, you know, we're the god of time now. We're just chilling. Yeah, well, we managed to save Lucy. Uh, we became god of time. I mean, that's a pretty, <laughs> pretty uh, conclusive ending, you could say. Um, this one did say that it was the thrilling conclusion. Uh, but, you know, there are more games that we can play. Um, I'm not sure if we'll end up doing them all, but you know, let's let's take a crack at it. Are we able to um, fast forward? We'll, okay, fast forward. We'll just take you straight to the end when you make your your option. That's, that's convenient. I wasn't sure if we would have to like replay them constantly. Let's uh, be reborn and see where that takes us. 
Let's inspect. Um, what does that say? Would you want to see all of time before your eyes? What else would there be? Uh, by Razor Fingers, we can left mouse button to interact and dialogue. Oh, I didn't realize that we could actually inspect the the tapes. Interesting. I I wonder if um if like some of the others have like interesting things. Like if we inspect the tape. Just to give a little flavor uh, for like, hey, this is a this is an actual tape. Well, let's let's play this one. <clears throat> Mommy. So what's it going to be? Come on, you know you want the power to set things right. I can give you a new life with your daughter in the next universe. Hmm. Um, I guess this would have been if we accepted uh, the Antichrist offer and became their, their fleshy new host. Fine, I'll be your host. Cut down Kronos. Oh, I, I didn't notice that that changed. Um. Lucy, I'll be with you in the next universe, I swear. So what's it going to be? <laughs> Let's go Satan. <laughs> in a quite shocking turn of events, the Antichrist is the new president of the United States of America. What a crazy year it's been. Oh, that, that honestly isn't that surprising. Goodbye, Mr. President. I guess I can stay here just a little longer. Mom, things will be different in the next universe, I swear. Finally, with Kronos out of the way, I can take the power of the god of time for myself. No, weird kitty. We should do this more often. Sorry, Mommy. The Antichrist is right. This world needs more chaos. Hmm. I guess we were seeing some other possible uh, scenarios that could have played out uh, had we done uh, played different games, made different choices. Hey, what's up? I have a feeling that you're the Antichrist. Hiya, cat. Well, where am I? Antichrist? Is that you? That is me. Thought I'd take you into my realm for a little while. So I could let my hair down and relax in my true form. And have a nice chat with old, without old Kronos bothering us. Wait, you're going against Kronos? I thought you were business partners business partner. Is that what he's calling me? <laughs> what a huge nerd. Kind of sweet, though. And not entirely wrong. We are business partners. We are also bitter rivals, sworn enemies, best of friends. Even lovers sometimes. Regardless of what I call this weird relationship, we are nevertheless soul bound, soul -bound to each other. Destined to fight for all eternity, but to never stray apart. Or stay apart, not stray. Much in the same way that light and shadow cannot exist independently, yet are fundamental opposites. An unstoppable force for an unmovable object. We've been doing this whole song and dance since... Well, since forever. Quite literally, actually. Time is weird. Only problem there is... Only problem there is... I'm getting kind of sick of it. Then why won't you just stop? I can't make the text scroll, by the way. It kind of does its own thing. That's the funny thing about fate, isn't it? I just can't. We're meant to keep doing this forever. It's what we do. We can try to stop it, but inevitably happens again, and the cycle continues. And that's fine and all, but we've been doing this for so long that it's become predictable. By this point, I've seen every possibility, every outcome, every twist and turn. I'm an agent of chaos and freedom. I thrive in the unpredictability of the universe, but nothing is unpredictable to me anymore. I've seen it all. 
Chrono says he likes it. He always talks about things like keeping the order and fulfilling our destinies. I think he's full of shit, though. I can see it in his face. He's just as tired as I am. If he didn't want this to end, you probably wouldn't be here right now. But why am I here? Why are you telling me all this? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you're sitting right at the eye of the hurricane in this one. For some reason, you and your daughter are the only constants in the whole thing. No matter how many times the universe has reset, how differently we do things, you two always manage to get caught up in it. Sometimes you're fighting alongside Kronos in a valiant attempt to kill me. Other times you give up your body and become my host. We wreck some havoc together. Sometimes Kronos betrays you. Sometimes I do. Sometimes you kill me. Sometimes you kill Kronos. Sometimes you take our places, then Lucy kills you, and vice versa. It doesn't matter what happens, but you two are destined to always be there. And I hate to break it to you, but... You two are also destined to never be together. Hmm. Sorry. It kind of sucks. I guess fate has it out for you. Huh? But why? Why me? I'm just a normal human. <sighs> I hate to reuse metaphors. But you're also an immovable object. You're special, cat. So says I, the Antichrist. It's your fate to be away from your daughter. It's impossible to go against it. And yet, in every single timeline, you fight tooth and nail against that fate. You lived millions of lives. In millions of universes. You made millions of choices. You went up against literal gods. All for the sake of your daughter. And yet, fate always finds a way. A way to keep you apart. Because fate is also an unstoppable force. And so, somehow, the universe is reset. Time loops in on itself, and we try to do things differently in this new timeline. Sometimes Kronos wipes everything. Sometimes I do it. Even you and Lucy manage to do it sometimes. You just can't seem to ever get your happily ever after. However, even with that knowledge, there is not a single universe in which you give up. Not a single one where you and your daughter simply decide to stay apart. And that's what's so fascinating about humankind. So fascinating about you. Even when faced against impossible odds, the human spirit can never be fully broken. You are the true agent of chaos. Hmm. Took me a long while to realize that, but you really are the key to all of this. The only way we can break free from this eternal cycle is if you never existed in the first place. Uh, I know it's a lot to ask a single person, but I don't see any other way, and I've seen it all. We are only stuck in this loop because you're too freaking stubborn. Wow, the Antichrist pulling out the freak word. The whole universe is looping with you. This wild jo joyride the four of us uh, the four of us are on, it affects everyone. This obviously includes Lucy. She's gone through as many timelines as you have and suffered just as much as you in any of them. She's just as stubborn as her mother. 
Me and Kronos can't willingly do the sacrifice. We tried. You're so pig-headed that you somehow find a way to take our place so you can be uh, try, try to be reunited with your daughter. She does the same for you too, in some timelines. This sacrifice must come from you. Fine. What? Fine. I'll do it. If disappearing from all the timelines is what it takes for Lucy to have a peaceful life, then I'll do it. But answer me this. If I disappear, will she still exist? Honest answer? I don't know. Not even Kronos would know. We've never been to a timeline without you. She might end up being born into a new family where she'll live a peaceful, boring life. She might become an entirely new person with entirely new memories. What I can say for certain is nothing will remain the way it is now. Even if we somehow still exist without you, we certainly won't be the same ones you know. Isn't that kind of exciting, though? Stepping into the unknown for the first time, a universe unburdened by the chains of destiny, a truly chaotic world, a world free from this stagnant cycle. I couldn't dream of anything more beautiful. Anyway, I'll give you one final choice. Whenever you're ready to go, you can press this button. You'll disappear entirely and the world will be reborn without you. You don't have to press it, though. You can stay here for as long as you want. Choosing not to make a choice is a choice in its own right. We can keep chatting some more if you want. I do appreciate the company. Been a while since anyone was down here. But this really is the end of our little game. We ran through all the possibilities. It was a fun ride. Whenever you're ready, you know what to do. No need to rush. We got all the time in the world. Well, see ya, Antichrist. Okay. I think I'm ready. Tell Kronos I said bye. I probably won't, given that, you know... I probably won't remember your existence and might not even exist myself. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was watching all this happen from one of his dumb TVs. Very in character of him. Thanks for the chat, Satan. It was an honor fighting you to the death in all these timelines. Maybe even more of an honor just to chill with you uh, here for a little while. Yeah, it was fun. It actually helped a lot. Good luck in the next universe. I hope things turn out differently for you, too. Goodbye, Satan. Lucy. You got one hell of a mom. I hope I leave a good universe for you. Okay, well, we found uh, two two uh, conclusions to our story, so we can uh, uh, excuse me, we can keep backing up. Maybe go back to showdown. I forgot what the option was at the end of showdown. Search for Lucy. Ah, oh, yeah, we, we went after Kronos because Kronos was a problem. But let's go, let's go search for Lucy. Back home. Uh, this is a game by Neil Neil Nauf, I believe that's how you pronounce that. Um, we can move, uh, advanced dialogue, and interact. Let's see this. Let's see this tape. Back home. Well, let's, I guess, go back home. Because I believe at the end of Showdown, we were told that Lucy was waiting at home. Cat, uh, cat, oh, okay, cat as in not um, as like the, the three-eyed cat, I'm guessing, not Kevin. Catherine, can you hear me? Did the portal work? Are you home? It's my house, but it's different. Everything is wrong. It does look like the the house that we started off in. Um, you know, some different visuals happening here. That was an interesting way that door opened up. Kind of an interesting bed. It has a frame, but it's basically just like the, the head of the bed. Um, 
and not like any other parts. It's interesting. Uh, <laughs> kind of an interesting uh, mattress bed kind of deal. Uh, these are just our, our storage room, the boxes. Very interesting wallpaper uh, and carpeting. Carpeting kind of gives like a uh, like a seventies or you know maybe like kitschy type of vibe. Locked. Let me come in here. See, like this one, this this bed frame is more like a normal frame um, as opposed to you know the floor one that we saw. Okay, well we've been everywhere in the house. Uh, there is that locked. Well, aside from the locked door. Oh, but it opened all by itself. When we walk through, what the hell? Yeah, it just loops us back to the beginning of the house. What if we turn around? If we turn around, we can see um, the outside. Like, you know, we can see where we, we came from. The rooms uh, appear to be the same so far. This one will be locked again. Nope, it is open. No longer remaining locked, but it will allow us to... Uh, since space and time are linked, I guess Kronos has the power to mess with both. But if Lucy is here, I'll find her, no matter what. Yeah, should we just keep, like, looping through? Or, I mean, if we're looking for Lucy, we should probably, you know, peek our heads into the rooms. Uh, you know, take a look for her, uh, especially since that room did just change. So, you know, things, you know, if things are changing, you know, there's a possibility that we could run into uh, Lucy in one of these rooms. Oh, there's a door in this room. This wasn't here previously. It leads us back out, um, almost to like a like a flipped version of of our home. More doors appearing uh, everywhere. Nothing in this room. I guess we just got to go back. So let's see if we're in. Yeah, okay. There's like not no door here. I wasn't sure if it was gonna do like a like ooh, you know. There's a door. Um, like there would be a door there and we would be able to kind of like walk into like a space that shouldn't exist, essentially. I mean, the, that's this entire deal is essentially a space that probably shouldn't exist. But, you know, it is existing. Kronos, you know, pulling out the big stops, you know, using both the power of uh, of Palkia and Dialga to do space and time, which, you know, seems a little little cheating, you know, to to be able to get to do. But, oh, that's that's funny. Just a, just a little bit. A little bed for like mice or you know small children really small children um someone's been stacking couches uh actually the way it says it, it it's not like it's floating so it's like someone like nailed it to the um the roof essentially to you know make it stay there spaces are becoming a little bit more erratic uh, is that is that good does that means chronos's power is like failing him is something up uh as as we push him through is it uh you know is something happening to him i i don't know is there anything up back here i mean there is stuff back here but is it you know stuff in the in the way that you know like does it matter where we're going? Um, we just need to keep blundering through until something happens. Ugh. As if this wasn't already bad enough. Our house doesn't have an attic or a basement. I suppose we'll go down to the basement. Let's inspect it. What does that say? Oros? Hmm. This is a game by Vapor Shark, and it looks like we just move and interact. Well, let's see what's in this basement. Oh, oh. Game kind of uh, flickered there for a bit. Hmm. Yeah, if, you, if your house doesn't have a basement, and all of a sudden there's a basement, and this is what you're seeing, it's probably not good. Oh, hey, you got Kronos! You were clever to come down here, in this basement beneath time. I made a deal with the Ouroboros to get Lucy out of that horrible place. You both will be safe here forever with some constraints. Nothing else exists now. 
time, the temporal chain of uh, procedural cruelty has been closed. You'll find her further down. Goodbye, Catherine. I'm just going to go back to eating Kronos. While we uh, continue downwards. So that was nice of Themis or Themis, whatever, the god of order. You know, take out Kronos for us. Uh, rescue Lucy. Oops, I, I fell off. Hmm. Thank you for warping me back. I won't. I won't fuck up like that again. I promise. Um, I, I, I will say I was kind of curious. I was like, can we fall off? It turns out yes, we can fall off. Um, we're getting these green flashes. Probably one of the constraints that uh, the cat mentioned. Not exactly sure. Okay, well, we, we finally made it. I wasn't sure if it was like forever like extending outwards, but no, it was just it was just a long <laughs> uh, long um, staircase. Mom. Well, okay, I guess Lucy was um, trapped in the television. Uh, mm? That was interesting. I guess we can see what's um, it's in the attic. I'm very glad that it has that fast forward function. That's I know I've, I've already said it, but it's, you know, just like oh, you know, cool. You, you can just you know, cut ahead. Um, let's see. Let's spec tape. Lucy. Uh, this is a game by Scythe. I guess we'll, we'll jump in and see what happened to Lucy in the attic. Uh, you open the attic door. It's an empty attic with an old rotary phone on the door on the floor. The phone begins to ring. You should pick up the phone. Unknown caller, do you pick it up? I mean, we only had the option for yes. You pick up the phone. Hello, Catherine. Uh, hello? Who's this? You know who I am. Where... where are you? Don't worry about her. I should be more worried about what's uh, coming next. You see, I have a little game planned for you and me. I just noticed it was Kronos. I just want my Lucy back. I don't want to play a silly game. If you cooperate with me, you can have her. The phone line goes dead. What am I going to do? Guess we'll just... Well, I thought we'd be leaving... But it doesn't, because this looks like, you know, an exit, but uh, you can't, seemingly can't leave uh, out, out from it. Hmm. I wandered up here, and now I can't get back down. Oh, there we go. I guess maybe there's just like some invisible wall of some sort. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we should be doing. Are we trying to find a way to leave this box? Not exactly sure. What if I oh, Okay, I can I can click to to go as well. Hmm. So, I mean, that's convenient that it'll, um, we can navigate using that, but I'm not exactly sure what's happening with this game. We can't interact with the phone anymore. Yeah, I'm not, not exactly sure. Hmm. I mean, there surely there must be something that we can do. Uh, I'm not sure how to do it, however. Yeah, cause you would think that I'd be able to like walk out this way, but no, nothing's nothing's happening. I'm not not exactly sure. We might have to just quit out of this game, to be honest. Um. You would think that it wouldn't um, lock up like this and, you know, 
make us stuck. You would assume that there is something we're supposed to do here. Um, yeah, but none of the keys seem to, to do anything. Uh, we do just seem to be stuck in here. Hmm. Yeah, we may just have to call it here for, for this one, back out of this game. Um, I'm not exactly sure, so let's, I guess, just close this one down. Oh, well, it marked it off as checked. So something happened there, but I'm not exactly sure. So we've... Um, yeah, well, I was going to say we've completed this this line, but we... Uh, oh, wow, there's a lot more, assuming that each one of these is a game. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do all of these. Uh, but I think we'll, we'll go back to Kyoto and uh, become, uh, become the Antichrist. While I would be interested to go see what happens if we go to uh, Wyoming instead of Kyoto, I definitely would like to see what happens if, you know, maybe we become the Antichrist. Maybe that'd be fun. With that, we unlock... Oh, I keep forgetting. Well, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, I wanted to... Yeah, let's back out. Close the game. I wanted to look at the... Or that. For some reason, when I clicked inspect, I did not do what I, I thought it would do. So we have a vessel. Completely red. Vessel with like a little happy face. Game by Shad. And all we have to do is advance dialogue and attack. Same button. Convenient. Cat? Cat? No! Oh, I guess cat, not like as in the kitty, but uh, Catherine. Yep, because we have just become the Antichrist, and Kronos doesn't seem to uh, appreciate that. Mwahaha! <laughs> you foolish human. You're now my vessel. Huh? Huh? Where's my daughter? You fell right into my trap, you imbecile. Your daughter is long gone. Uh, I really thought I would have a chance. Come on, Vessel. Cheer up. You don't get to see the destruction of your world in first person. I really don't want to see that. We will now go to 1982 Paris. My friends are waiting there. Oh, I just noticed that this is like all fucked up on the recording. Um, interesting. Let me see if I can do anything about that. Hmm. This might be a little, a little strange. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to fix this in editing uh, because it does not want to play ball with me in OBS. Of course, my soon-to-be co-rulers of the world. A new era will begin. The ruling of evil. You're out of your mind. What did you expect, Cat? I'm literally the Antichrist. Mwahaha. Let's go. There's Paris. Ah, beautiful. You're sick. Okay, so uh, the meeting is at 12 Rue de... Goulet? 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 It's probably Goulet. We need to walk a bit. Do your job, Vessel. What if I don't want to... Stop right there, evil fiend! What is it? Who's this guy? Be gone! Merlin emerged! Click repeatedly to win! So we have the body and we have our mind. Um, yeah, we were. So I guess we're just we're just gonna smack the hell out of uh, Merlin, Merlin, Merlin with uh, RPG stuff happening. I mean, the Antichrist just said to to keep clicking. Um, Merlin's doing some powerful magic, but it doesn't seem to uh, be affecting us. Ah, uh, Merlin died. Body Cat's party was victorious. Oh no, is he dead? 
Yep. Well, what did you make me do? I think time sorcerers are trying to stop us. Time sorcerers? We need to be quick. Ugh, I'm really not okay with this. Welp, too late to go back now. Get going, vessel. Die, foul demon. Ah, oh, the Queen of Sheba. Kill, kill. I don't wanna. The Queen of Sheba emerged. And our, our, op our only option is still uh, just a fight, so you just click until we win, <laughs> which would seem repairs a powerful magic attack. It didn't seem to have any effect on us, though. Yeah, I mean, we, we do have Antichrist powers, so that's probably, you know, helping. I wonder how we're attacking, because it, it just says fight and it just says attack. It doesn't give us a description of, like, if we're hitting the Queen of Sheba with some kind of weapon, if we're just, like, mono e mono, like, you know, this fighting. It's hard, hard to say. Hard to know. Go, go, go! We don't have time for all this bullshit. Here we are. Now we just need to enter the door. Hold on a second. Oh, is this is this Kronos? Cat, are you there? That voice. Kronos? Ugh, what is it now? Kronos, why do you look like that? Well, traveling through time and space too much. It makes you older. But I'm not here to talk about my looks. Just me coming here is extremely dangerous for the space-time continuum, but... There have been enough paradoxes already. If I don't kill the Antichrist, it will only get worse. And the only way to do that... Well, I'm sorry, cat. Kronos? Huzzah! Kind of a weird thing to say going into battle. You see, cat? Yeah, I see. We gotta... We gotta beat down, uh, Kronos. This is what humanity is like? I'm, 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 would, would you really consider Kronos part of humanity? I... I'm not so sure. Whatever gets in their way, they kill it. I mean, Chrono, Kronos is a, is a god, so... I, I, I don't think you're really making a great point with this, so end him. He didn't even pay back for... He didn't even pay back for your favor. He never planned to. You know, these enemies probably should realize that their powerful magic... Um, attack isn't doing anything, and maybe they should do something else. Like, you know, like, Kronos could use a scythe. Wait, cat. Uh. Oh, it just said vessel. Has it has it just been saying vessel this entire time instead of, um, yeah, it, it changed to vessel instead of being body. Body, you know, parentheses, cat. I guess the idea is that Cat is gone and it is now just a vessel um, for the Antichrist. Vessel's party was victorious. Kronos. No time for mourning your victim. We've got a meeting to attend. Uh. Hey, what's up, buddies? Yeah? Uh, Rong? Rongda? Finally. You're here. Uh, Elric? Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, are you excited or what? Are, we're doing this. Yeah, it took you so long, we were starting to think of doing it without you. Aw, oh, come on guys. We made a pact. Yes, we made a pact with the Antichrist. Only the most powerful demon on Earth. Come on, Rangda. I'm not gonna betray you. Hey guys, chill. We're finally doing this. So now we have to cooperate. That's right, Elric. Well said. But, uh, AC, the thing is... Talking about uh, talking while you uh, got here and realized we had different ideas for our procedure. Uh huh. He thinks it's best to change. It's he thinks it's the best to go on to go to the creation of Earth and change it to our advantage. Can you believe it? Well, where's the problem? He's being too tame. Is the problem? If we're gonna do this, I say we do things right. I say we go to their ancestors and slash blood guts prehistory, dude. Now why would we do that? That's so much work, Rogda. You're a demon, right? Don't you like killing? Besides, going back in time to destroy a meteor full of water particles doesn't sound very easy to me. Okay, I see the problem, right? So, AC. We thought we'd let you choose. You're the ruler of evil, after all. Good decision. Now let's see. Uh, now we have to decide what our, our friends, you know, they gave us, you know, some options. 
Oh, what's going on? Is it just loading up uh, another game? Oh, okay. That's something. Something went uh, weird there. Okay. So we can either kill all of humanity in prehistory, or we can change the genesis of Earth. Um, let's change the genesis of Earth. Let's see what's up with that. Which gives us rightfully named Genesis. Let's inspect the tape. Yeah, Genesis. Yeah. Uh, it's a game by Coulter. Uh, all we can do is charge and release. Oh, time to go fuck around with the genesis of the planet, I guess. Echo. No. Ho. Oh. Genesis. It's stickier than I remember. And of course, there's Mr. Sticky himself right here. Does your dad know what you're up to? This scheme's way out of line. Kronos, but you're... Calling in from another branch? Yes, I'm heading your way now. Listen. AC's gunning for Lucy. Lucy stands for Life Unfolding Celestial Yolk, the originator of life in the universe. You see, your daughter was a vessel uh, herself. She... What did I say about nagging? Stop that. If AC merges with Lucy... Stop! No. Bad. It's game over for the whole... La 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 la, plug your ears, darling. Lucy? Will you butt out, Sticky? I've charted a path. This is going to be tricky. But... Remember, darling, I do the choosing for you, for the both of us now. You've made enough bad decisions. Wait, my daughter? Onward! I'll, I'll navigate, but keep your eyes peeled. For what? You'll see, and then a little evil face. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, that's Lucy with the rings. Not exactly sure what kind of game we're about to be playing. Their immune system is activating. Uh, uh, more targets for your vessel. Fire at will. Okay, so it's a it's a shooter. We charge and shoot. Oh, you really need to charge. This has like a serious like charge up time. Okay, I don't need to hold it for the entire time, but I guess it's just well, you know, it's it's charging. It probably makes it better, and I assume. I'm supposed to be shooting these green things. That did not go where I wanted it at all. I, I guess I just lost um, sight of where the <clears throat> the cursor is. I'm not really understanding too much. Like it just seems like you know we are just running around this track, and I just have to shoot stuff. We're in the home stretch, baby. Lucy can't outrun forever. Lucy's gone, isn't she? It's just this thing. Your Lucy's herb does her, her purpose, a stepping stone to get us here, and of course, get you in hand. Why me? You're a walking grandmother paradox. You're both mother and daughter of Lucy. You're the key to everything. Exactly, you're the tool, the biggest tool in the universe. No, shut up and focus. No, I wouldn't want to be called the biggest tool in the universe, you know? This uh, Antichrist. Not very nice, you could say. Oh, I guess the idea is that um, we've been chasing chasing uh, Lucy over there. I don't know if we want to fire on Lucy. I feel strange. Cat, listen. Cause and effect are breaking down. Your mistake can be undone. Split with the Antichrist. <laughs> Kick his ass. We had an agreement, darling. You don't need to worry about choosing anymore. I see it now. What will you fight for? It's the time to choose. Now that we've uh, entered Lucy, I guess, we can save the timeline, or we can save our daughter. I mean, Catherine has been very adamant about her goals and what she is after. I think we, we probably want to save her daughter. The Gulf War? Excuse me? Um, alright, we use a mouse to putt. Uh-oh. This VHS got a, a, a case of the face. I guess let's enter the Gulf War. 
Mm, I see how it is. You've chosen your own daughter over the universe and took both Kronos and Lucy's power for yourself and turned into a ball? No matter, I'll squash you with my true strength, the power of the United States government, the largest source of evil energy on Earth, probably. Uh, prob probably, right? Now listen here, don't you dare use left mouse to begin taking a shot, dragging the mouse to line it up and release a left mouse to launch yourself at my delicate hands. And after I fall, and after I fall when both my hands are damaged, don't you dare smack my head a bunch with your orb. Also, cat, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, press escape to leave now. All right, now that I've told you this, let's start the battle. Okay, so we're engaging in combat with the Antichrist uh, by playing... Uh-oh, uh imbibes the power of the presidential fitness test. Oh, no. I'm almost already out of the stars, assuming that is health. Uh, that the heavy hazer. I, I yeah, I think I think I'm basically dead. <laughs> yeah, because we, we ran out of stars. Oops, I completely just clicked out of the the window. That was my bad. We were told not to smack the Antichrist in the face with our orb a bunch. Uh, but oh, oh, there we go. I'm not sure what's with the health. If that's just like bragging rights. Oh shit! Now it's okay. Th th this is. Let me, let me minimize this, because uh, my OBS window is causing trouble. Yeah, I, I just keep clicking out of this game, I guess. The way I'm moving the mouse around is just a little uh, too erratic. It's just causing problems. I'm, so I'm sorry for that. I don't know why I keep fucking that up. I, I did not see what that one was attacked. Uh, the the Lincoln Scourge. I the power of the United States government does seem to uh, be causing a lot of trouble for us. You know the the Antichrist knew exactly what kind of evil power uh, it would need to defeat our ball, the Hazer Orchestra, like. I, I also, I'm not sure what's up with the health. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Did I? Oh, boy. That really fucked it up that time. Uh, okay. I, I got it fixed. <laughs> I just have to keep my mouse. Pay attention to where it is. Keep it in the center of the, the monitor. I don't want it to slide over to my second monitor and, um, you know, do what it's been doing. Fortunately, uh... Oh fuck! I I don't know how I'm just messing this up so badly. This is you know I've been recording videos for years, and I feel like I've never done that before. Um, it's just ridiculous. Like I mean, I guess I am moving my mouse around a lot, um, but I'm I'm not exactly sure how it's going off the screen so consistently like that. Also, I gotta say that the Antichrist really can take some uh, damage, like way more health than I thought. Um, not saying that I don't like this or anything, but it's just I need to I need to smack the head. But the Antichrist can really take a beating. I think I only got like one good hit on that time. The Terrible Guitar Man. What the hell? Yeah, I couldn't see that one last time uh, because of the monitor <laughs> freaking out and stuff. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> I, like we must be making progress, but like, like you know, couldn't even get a, a good hit in on that time since um, everything was just exploding. Yeah. So I'm a little confused about our the state of our health. Um, fuck. Um, that perhaps, perhaps uh, it was kind of like a bragging rights kind of deal. Like, oh, you did it without getting hit, instead of being like, oh, you have three hits and then you're fucked. And there's not really any indication of, uh, fuck, of its health. I, I just, and I do not understand how I keep clicking out of the window. Come back here, get you. 
I mean, it's a good thing that we, we seemingly don't have an actual fixed health bar since, uh, you know, a lot of those attacks just completely just blast you into space. Made a little, little poop noise whenever it exploded. Antichrist shouted like a little idiot baby. No, you can't just be mute or powers, you can't! All is fear and love and freaking war, dude, Cat replied coolly, like Neo from the Matrix. The Antichrist then proceeded to disappear into the void, never to be seen again. Mom! Mama! Mommy! Mom! Mom! Lucy screeched like a bat out of hell. Oh my god, Lucy! Cat screamed in an orb like fashion. Thanks for saving me instead of the whole universe. Haha, ha, let's go get a burger! Lucy continued to shriek. That sounds great. Let's go and do that, Cat replied. And with that, Lucy plopped down on Cat's orb form, and the two rolled away in search of adventure or something. The end! Also, here's how you did. Yeah, I didn't do very well. I, I, I noticed. Well, okay, well, that went well. Um, I mean, it, it literally said that it didn't go well for us, um, since, you know, I lost all my stars. But, you know, we saved Lucy. We did it. With our orb powers, you know, it was a narratively fitting uh, conclusion to the story. You know, we we all kind of kind of saw that coming, to be honest. Uh, and you know, we get to remain an orb, which is pretty cool. And uh, golf and such. What was this one? This one's save the timeline instead of um, saving our daughter. Um, see, why does it do that sometimes? I feel like I keep getting like just the inspect button mixed up. It's a game by Z Bill. Um, we have WSD and we move. Dead or alive, you something. This is Lucy Space. Oh, this is. It used to be Robo Slop too, but someone taped over it and now it is Lucy Space. Well, let's let's enter Lucy Space for real. Fill for windowed. Um, okay, yeah, the recording looks like it's working. Let's push. Mother? What's wrong? <clears throat> All right. We saw the, um, the cat, who's, I guess the Antichrist was like kind of chilling in. We're going somewhere. Oh, well, we have our sword. Okay, yeah, the sword control uh, is different than it was previously. I'm not sure what that did for us. Oh, we can also jump. Uh-oh. It's uh, Rangda. We're being beset by uh, demons. The demons coming after us to try and, I guess, stop us from doing whatever we're doing. Okay, so the... The hourglasses seem to freeze them in place. But I mean, also we can we can just kill them if they get too close to us as well. Need to be a little bit careful that I don't. Uh oh, we have El Elric. More demons gonna try and stop us. You giving us with the old. Oh oh no! I, I fell off. They got us with the old sins fortress blade. Uh, swinging blade guys. The other demons seem to have. Fucked off. To, 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 just to be frank, we can attack them. So you know, we don't really need to play their game of you know, carefully getting across. We can just uh, attack them whenever we get the shot. This one, however, we might need to. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that one might not work, and we gotta we gotta start back here because we can. Let's try it with this one. I'll jump straight into its face. Yeah, if we jump into the face, we can attack, uh, and then it doesn't get as much of a push on us. Um, I do believe I have... Oh, I can I, I can hit the, the boxes. I thought I had to hit the... Um, I thought I had to hit the face to make it work. But as long as we attack some part of them, it seems that it's all good. Um, we'll go ahead and stop these guys, and we'll get a move on. Ah. Almost worked. Oh man. 
Uh, if I, oops, I just, I just straight up walked off that time. There's no bump uh, necessary, you know. Sometimes you can just uh, accidentally. Well, I didn't, I didn't jump. I, um, I put my finger down onto the space key, uh, but then I didn't release it. Man, those guys uh, keep getting me from the side. It's a good thing we seem to be able to go through their boxes whenever um, it stopped. And with that, uh, we're, we seem to be good. We can continue onwards. Someone on this planet, Kronos perhaps? Maybe it's the, uh, the cat? I'm not exactly sure. Has Merlin come back to us? Fine work. Clever that you found that sword. Yes, it's who you think it is. Where time is concerned, there's absolutely no killing me. Oh, wait, is this Kronos? With dark magic dispelled, Lucy has taken root throughout the universe. If ever evil finds flesh again and binds itself in time to see chaos, well, let's just say we've now a lady to help us. This meteor we stand on is the very one that will strike Earth and create life. Notice how Lucy thrives. You've you've got one thing remaining to do. I'll put place her sword down. I guess. Well, I, I placed the sword in the meteor. Am I supposed to leave now? I guess we come over here. So do we... Do we save the timeline then? Oh no, and then the meteor lands on Earth with her sword. The sword that we will later use. Assuming it's the same sword. In Kyoto. So we did it. We saved the timeline. Hooray! Good good job. Good job all around, I guess. Uh, what was the option for this one? This was... Oh, this is where we're going to go back in time uh, and kill humans in prehistory. The distant static. Let's check that tape. Just got like a little like anchor. Uh, this is by Terry Cavanaugh. Um, use Waz to move. Uh, left mouse button to advance dialogue. Well, let's... Let's jump in there. Now, um, <laughs> every time the game has to load up a new game, since, you know, that main one is like a launcher, I'm worried and looking over at my recording like, oh, shit, please go. All right, boys, we're here. Time to destroy humanity's ancestors. Dude, I know you'd make the... Dude, I knew you'd make the right call. Let's go cause some carnage. You feeling okay, AC? How's your vessel? Mwahaha! I wouldn't worry about her. Her mind is starting to decay. She doesn't have much time left. Television? Wait, was I watching this? Where am I? This thing is giving me a headache. Alright. I guess we're in the devil's mind. Uh, this is the I'm, I'm just guessing that this is, like, a manifestation of the Devil's Mind that we're wandering around. It's one of those haunted spirits from Kyoto. I feel so much anger from it. Maybe I should just sneak past. Yeah, we should just... we we'll just go around. We don't have a sword on us. Uh, just leave it alone for now. Where am I? The Antichrist was controlling me, I think? Oh no, what did I do? We seem to be in some kind of red room, one could describe it as. A room that is red, you know, perhaps curtains along the wall. Who could say? It's an hourglass. Catherine, is that you? Kronos, I thought you were dead. Oh no. Catherine, you didn't kill me in this branch you're in, did you? I'm sorry, the Antichrist made me do it. This is bad, this is very bad. If the Antichrist has taken over your body, then it's a matter of time before your, your mind fades away. Oh. So now what do we do? I'm sorry, Catherine. It might already be too late. 
take the hourglass with you. I'll get back to you if I think of anything. All right. I guess we'll just continue our journey through the devil's mind. I am assuming. Is this the way we came from? This might be the way we came from. No, it seems to be fine. Oh, it's one of the haunted spirits. Hey, I just thought of something. Do you remember the haunted... Yep, I... You know, rings a bell. Yeah, uh, I remember. They're attracted to life energy. Hold your breath if you get close. That way, they won't detect you. Hold left click to hold our breath. That's fun. A little um, kind of deadly premonition-esque. You know, ha having to hold your your breath uh, to get by these haunted spirits. Unfortunately for us, our breath is about to run out. Oh, damn. They they immediately get you. Okay, so we'll... This time, I thought we might need to uh, keep going, but I'm not. Yeah, there we go. Just stop to, to catch your breath so we can walk by here. I wasn't sure about their range, so I thought, you know, if, oh, if I stop there and I uh, start breathing again, that uh, it would go badly. But luckily for us, it was perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, we're back uh, home, one could say. Hey, it's me again. I have a plan. Where are you now? I think this is a, the apartment. The one where Lucy and I were staying when it happened. Okay, that's good. Your mind is still trying to grab hold of reality. Listen, I'm dead in this branch, so there's only so much I can do. But I should have enough power for one last trick. What are you going to do? I need, <clears throat> I need you to find three treasures and bring them to me. You'll know them when you see them. Good luck. Yeah, there might be three treasures that, you know, maybe we've seen before. Watching this makes me feel like I'm going to throw up. Also, I believe that they had different carpet. and I mean, it doesn't matter because, like, obviously, you know, shit has changed. Uh, not really much point in being like, the carpet's different now. It's Lucy's favorite album. We came here with almost nothing. I don't think we even brought a record player. This is what I'm looking for, isn't it? Treasure found, Lucy's album. This is the back exit. It leads to Kronos' video store. I need to find the three treasures before I go. I was going to say, I thought that was a bedroom, but I think last time we were here, uh, things were like all, you know, popsy-turvy uh, magic time stuff. This, are these windows? Because, like, that would be going into the hallway. I'm not exactly sure what's happening there. Some strange happenings. Oh, this book was my favorite book as a teenager. I was going to give it to Lucy to read now that she's old enough. To be honest, I was a little nervous that she wouldn't like it. That's two. One treasure left. Catherine's book. Apartment? With the question mark? Oh, things have changed. We have two of our three um, treasures. But unfortunately, the nature of our apartment has changed. And now there's haunted spirits. You know, just chilling. Come over here into this back corner. So we can uh, catch our breath. And then we'll walk on by. I uh, I really hate holding my breath. It always makes me so nervous. Um, so I I don't I don't I don't like holding my breath. It 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 just, oh, it, it just freaks me out a little. Do not enjoy it. Lucy's room. No spirits in here. We can get on top of the bed. Mother's Day card. What is this? A Mother's Day card. Looks like Lucy was making it for me. It has a little drawing of us on the front in Creon. And that makes three. Time to go. Are we going back into the apartment question mark? It would seem so. Um, let's see. Oh, whoops. Okay, so some of them can see, it would seem. So perhaps we need to hold our breath and not touch them. Let's wait for these to go by. Uh, we unfortunately didn't recover all of our breath. We did manage to get most of it back though, so you know, it's fine. And we're, we're near this exit. 
So we should be able to get out of this room. No, Probalo. Pro mm, wow, that, I was going to say problem, and then I was going to say Porbalo, and then just the entire brain situation, uh, you know, it, it didn't it didn't go. Um, okay, yeah, I have the three treasures. Time to go. I was like, oh, are we not going to Kronos' video store? Walking along some fences. There's a door. I guess this door goes to his video store. Like, he is, he is uh, you know time god so you know maybe uh the video store doesn't have to be like in literal space hey catherine good to see you again hey i brought the treasures you asked for thanks hand them over i'll get started it's time for me to finally repay that favor but you have one final choice to make catherine a choice in your mind these items hold great power your first option. I can use them to break your mind free from the Antichrist. You'd be back in control. Maybe you could still stop him. What's the other option? I could use that same power to send your mind back through time. You'd wake up in your old body sometime before all this started in a new branch of history. A second chance to save Lucy, or some version of her at least. But back here, in this branch, the Antichrist will have one. He'll be unstoppable. So, basically, save Lucy, or save the world. Choose quickly, you don't have much time left. Well, I mean, we've been pretty adamant that, you know, we're, we're gonna save Lucy. Sorry, world. If I could start again. Let's check this tape out. Do not play. If I could start again. Game by Kevin Hutchins. We move, uh, we can turn. I think we'll, we'll figure it out. This also seems like this might be the, the last game on this branch. <clears throat> Kronos, wait. I'm back in my home. Was that all a dream? I need to find out. I need to see Kronos. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Uh, we can turn with QE. Okay. Hi, Lucy. Lucy, honey, we're going to run an errand. Isn't it too early? Isn't it early for that? Mom, I want to play some video games. Good news, then. We're going to the video rental store to visit an old friend of mine. We'll pick you up a video game while we're there. Yay, I'll follow you to the car. So we got we got party member? I don't have to go to the bathroom. Let's turn. This is Lucy's room. She's not in there. This is, this is fun. Like a little, like, um, oh, I can't go back to sleep. I need to know if that was real. Like, uh, um, King, King, King's Field's a little bit like this, but uh, I just thinking, like, I think Ultima, I think Ultima's kind of this style. I probably should have been reading that. <laughs> something about, um, something about needing a knife. We don't have a weapon, and there's a haunted spirit ahead of us, so what do we do? That's impossible. This can't be here. Okay, this is a turn-based battle system with an emphasis on attack lengths and timing. Oh god, I'm bad at timing. Moves have three components. Attack, defense, and delay. Attack is the base damage done by a move uh, once it's executed. Defense is how much damage the move will protect against when it's readied. Uh, delay is how long a move will stay ready for before it's executed. When it's your turn, you can select moves from the right-hand side. The lantern will use an Eight to six move. Okay. By using my high defense slash move, we can cut them all. Uh, we can whittle them down while taking less damage ourselves. Okay, so we should. Uh, <laughs> our uh, our character's face uh, uh, made me. It, it was funny. Okay, so we just we just select uh, options and then it's. Um, I, I guess we'll work itself out. Um, okay, so we can see our health. I mean, it said to do slash. I'm not sure if I should bother to um, try a different move. Like, should I do something quicker? Um, since it only has four health left. Uh, am I understanding this correctly? I'm not sure. I'll just use slash again. 
Yeah, I think I may not entirely understand this battle system. Oh, hey, we could use this for... Um... Skip's turn. That's fun that we can use that to, to move if we wanted to. Could these lancers be teaching me? The first player to act will depend on who initiated the battle. The first player's attack will execute uh, before the others in event of a tie. The second player will be able to see the first player's move during the initial pick. The first player has to... The first player to act has a token next to their name. In this case, you can see the lantern will use a swing move when choosing your action. In this fight, the enemy uses a, a move with a high attack but a long delay. You can switch between dealing damage with a high uh, damage dealing attack. You're writing a shield. Okay, so it's just telling us, hey, you, you might need to, uh, to block. Um, so we know that this will take 10. It's going to take them 16 to ready this. So we can... We'll slash, and then we'll guard. I don't think I guarded correctly. Maybe I did. We'll slash, and we'll guard. I'm not sure if I'm guarding correctly, but I mean, it's, it's over now. I mean, it's probably not a good thing since these are, um, I guess, uh, you know, <clears throat> tutorial pierce modifier so this is uh, moves with pierce tend to have long delays and a little defense so good strategies to get uh, as much damage as possible okay so we know that they're gonna go in 19 so we should stab them i guess we'll deal eight damage five ticks so yeah we should probably i guess stab them we can just stab them a couple times and then we'll guard. Okay, I think I guarded correctly that time. Should I guard again? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't I don't think I, I don't think I've been guarding correctly. But that's fine, because we, we killed them, and we do seem to heal at the end of it. Here's the car. I can't shake this feeling of profound despair. There isn't a lot going on with this combat system. Um, like, I mean, it, it's relatively pretty simple, but also, like, at the same time, like, wow, they really just uh, cr cranked this out just for this little game, huh? Honey, I'm going to go check on my friend. You wait in the car. Can't I come in? No, it could be dangerous. Stay in the car, no matter what. And Lucy, I love you. I love you too, Mom. Let's see what kind of beasties we have now. Like a hand or get out of my way. So, e oh, it's, a, it's an alligator. I see it now. So eager to sacrifice yourself to my master. I won't let you waste his time. I stand no chance of winning, but I have to try for Lucy. Okay, so the gator is going to act first, it would seem. So I will... Does it matter if I guard? Because it seems like they're going to hit me no matter what. So I might as well just whack them, right? Well, we can we can hurt the gator. Um, should I guard? We didn't seem to, to have gotten. Oh yeah, that deals a lot of damage. Um, this piercing fang of the gator seems like it's gonna take us out uh, unless we can like DPS like race this guy. Uh, yeah, with that we died. We will retry. Um, so should I guard this time? Let's see. Oh, Y'all guard. I'm, maybe that works. Because we need to... We need to beat the gator in three turns. Um, and it's definitely not happening this time. Maybe maybe I should try an easy... I'll try a normal one more time. Because I, I think there's just something I might not be under... Well, literally, I... I I'm, just, I'm just... I'm missing something here. Is what's happening. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll do that again, and then, but it but it's gonna act first, which kills us. Let's try. Let's try with it with easy. How does this go? Because it seems like that first hit doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, yeah. It has it has less health now, and it does less damage. So I guess I guess that's the difference. How did I do that? 
could be <laughs> could being the Antichrist vessel have granted me some of his power? I mean, also we we swapped it to um, you know, easy because I'm a coward. I saw what you did to my friend over there, but I'm afraid I can't let you pass. I have to get through. Then it looks like we're at an impasse. Okay, well, the bear is not putting up any actions at the moment, so we'll just go for our big stab. Ooh, the, the, oh, I guess because we were choosing first, the bear had uh, an opportunity to, um, you know, scope out what we were doing. I don't think I entirely understand the um, the the mechanics. Uh, no one blocks my way, not anymore. Here it is, the moment of truth. Damn, something something's up. Let's take a little spin around. Seems like somebody might be torching uh, Kronos' store. Ah, it's the Antichrist. Expecting someone else. Your friend Kronos isn't here. In fact, he doesn't seem to be anywhere. It was only a matter of time before his meddling took care of him. It was only a matter of time before his meddling took care of him for me. So, all that actually happened. Kind of you to come and hand Lucy over to me personally. You won't lay a finger on her. Who's going to stop me? You? <laughs> Taste my blade, wretched scum. Um, yeah, I guess I, I didn't think about it, but I guess we're, we're still using the sword. A thousand cuts, 204 pierce. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep picking slash because I don't really... Oh, arcane uh, assault. We're going first, so maybe I can actually get guard uh, to work this time. And then we'll attack. I think I might have managed to block. Um, not 100% on that, so I'll guard. I'll slash. Unfortunately, uh, the the Antichrist has whittled us down. Uh, and we're probably not going to last much, much longer. Yeah, especially with attacks like that. Uh, I I feel bad that, that, I'm, that I'm not completely um <clears throat> engaging with the mechanics i feel like i'm not doing that correctly but i also i just don't seem to understand like i'll, I'll choose like guard um but then i still take damage so there's there's uh i'm having a fundamental misunderstanding with um the mechanics of the system Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, because even 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 on easy now, um, the Antichrist uh, gave me the business. You know, we got him a little under half health, but what uh, what is going on here? How how do we do this? Because <clears throat> we know the devil's about to attack. This will defend. Okay, so it's when it's queued. So this should have. Two defense. The devil's about to attack with a two uh two power move. So if we do this, will we take no damage? No, we, we still took damage. Hmm. So now 14 attack. So this should if I use slash, this should bring it down to eight. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the um. That's right. I I I believe that that piercing move. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I I think I I think I I, I might understand it now. Like, I was thinking like you have to activate guard and like get to the top, but it seems like I would just choose it, and it will um. It'll go. So now I pick guard. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I might have a grasp of the system now. So we'll stab you. We guard. Yeah, we just we just take it slow. We don't we don't gotta rush it. Especially since um the devil seems to be well, I guess Antichrist, um, not the devil. Uh seems to be dead set on using this arcane assault over and over again instead of the um <clears throat> the uh piercing stabby move he was doing before 
Well, I'm glad that before the end of this, I was able to grasp the system a little bit. Um, even if right now I'm kind of, it's a little silly the way we're doing this, you know, just, you know, we're using the devil's own uh, strategy against them. Uh, so he started off doing that like small piercing attack uh, and you know, we can, we can copy him, you know, keep our, keep our health good. Uh-oh. Dark spear, 30 damage, pierce. Uh, so we have 37 ticks to do this. Um, this offers no defense. So we'll just start slashing, I guess. And then with that, I think I think that the devil's gotten got. What? Where did you get such power? No matter. I'm finished toying around with you. <laughs> I understood his last attack. I think I can use it. Okay. Oh, fallen star. Um, it's a big super duper attack. Um, it's gonna take. It's gonna take ninety nine. So we have just enough time to use the dark spear. Um, you know, enough times to to get him dead. Kind of kind of an interesting uh, system. Um, you know, I'm guessing that it is probably based on like your like Ultima or. Uh, something of that nature. Um, but, you know, this is an interesting mechanic to just be like, oh, hey, we're making this, like, game collection. What are you going to do? Wow, I'm going to throw together this weird-ass little RPG, I guess, with a, its own system. Very well, Catherine. You've shown your power. I'll give you one last choice. N no! No more choices. This time I make my own possibilities. So the devil was like, I'll give you an option, and then we just beat the shit out of him. The Antichrist lay in a crumpled heap in front of me. It was finally over. I picked up a video game that uh, had escaped the rampant fires. Wouldn't want to disappoint Lucy. No one stood in my way as I returned to the car. Wordlessly, I handed Lucy her game, just started driving. I'll never stop feeling guilty about abandoning the other timeline, but having Lucy by my side, I wouldn't change it for the world. There we do. We did it. We we did. Uh, uh, if, if I could start again, and we're getting it about. It looks like the halfway point of all these games. Um, there are a lot more here than I was honestly uh, expecting. So let's uh, fast forward and see what's up with this other timeline. Oh, that effect. Uh, the um, fast forwarding uh, got me. Let's save the world. What does that say? Blue, blue. Oh, it's like blue light. I see. Uh, we WASD to move and right click a game by Jan uh, Hajek. I believe that was uh, the pronunciation. I think uh, could could be and probably am wrong. Let's launch the game. <clears throat> okay. Well, we're in prehistory. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Lucy, but this is the right thing to do. <clears throat> it looks like your body has been affected by the Antichrist. Kronos. Don't worry, I don't exist on this timeline anymore. You are the only one who can see, who can see or hear me. So are we still in prehistory? It looks so. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's uh, Elric and uh, El Elric and Ragda. My lord, I think we can begin the last ritual. Are you sure? I think we can still kill a couple more humans before that. I don't think that's necessary. We can start the ritual now. Oh, come on, Elric. Don't be such a grouch. Can I at least fill the whole earth with eternal fire before the ritual? That would be very inconvenient for their plan. What do you mean inconvenient? Look, what good is it? Uh, what good is it to you to have the whole Earth if there's nothing left to torture or destroy? Nah, you're just scared to kill more humans. Whatever. What do you think, my lord? Should we start the ritual? We should start the ritual immediately. But first, I command you to tell me the purpose of the last ritual to make sure that you were paying attention. Nice impression. Oh, should I be doing an impression of... I should probably... Yeah. Of course, my lord. This last ritual will make us the most powerful beings in the whole universe. Uh, what's wrong, Elric? Do you have a pr uh, problem with the ritual? 
Of course not, my lord. Let's go, uh, Rangda. We need to prepare the candles. Cat, we need to find out more about this ritual. There must be a way to fix everything and save the world. Okay, well, we're in a dark void now. Look, it's an enchantment book. Okay, well, we just seem to be able to walk. We can walk across the pentagram, you know. We're not scared. We're the Antichrist, as you can see. Look, this page explains the whole ritual. To start the ritual, we need to put one red candle on each point of the pentagram. After that, someone has to... Uh, Someone has to be wait inside the pentagram for five minutes. Sounds way too simple for such a powerful effect. Uh, wait, Kronos, look! There's a very similar ritual. This one, instead of making every demon powerful, it makes them disappear from our timeline. Present, past, and future, no demon will ever exist on any point of our history. My lord? What's wrong, Rangda? The candles are gone. Some random human probably stole them. I knew it. We had to kill more of them before the ritual. Don't worry, Rangda. I'll take them back. Okay, so now we need to go collect some candles so we can, um, you know, screw up this ritual. And look, there's a random human who seems to have stolen some candles. This is Sky, a oh, oh, new character. Hello, young lady. May I introduce myself? My name is Sky, and I'm here to help you. To help me? That's right. It's, uh, it's being a really short time since I gained intelligence. I'm not sure about how that happened, but I understand my purpose now. Oh, excuse me. And what is that purpose, I, if I may ask? The first thing that I've ever listened was a very strange voice that told me to give these blue candles to the first person that comes to me. Do you remember who told you that? I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. Now go. They're waiting for you. Okay, so Sky just gave us some candles. What is going on there? Oh, it's the Antichrist, of course. Gatherin, do you really think it's that easy to defeat me? I don't need you anymore. As soon as my new body is formed, you and the rest of the human race will die. Goodbye, Catherine. You wasted your chance to become the strongest being alive. Oh no, the haunted spirits! Are we just supposed to stand in the, the middle of the the thing like we heard in the ritual? Or are we trying to get over to the, the Antichrist? I'm not exactly sure. There, there was one moment when it was like it gave us a possible text uh, box. <clears throat> but it was only for a moment. So is this just a matter of, uh, look, this page explains the whole ritual. Oh, that's interesting. We by interacting with that, I started the cutscene again. Whoops. That was a little whoopsie. We'll just skip back to where we were. So do we just need to dodge these uh these haunted spirits for five minutes? Is that what uh what's going on here? Oh, okay, no, we have to place the candles first. Alright. I understand what we're doing now. Yeah, for a second I was like, shit, are they really just going to make us like wait here for five minutes? They still might. We still might have to do that. Kronos, I don't think I'll be able to survive for five minutes in here. There's too many of them. Catherine. I'm sorry, Lucy. It looks like I did this for nothing. <clears throat> Elric? Selling my soul has been the worst mistake of my life. It was you, right? You changed the candles. Why? When I sold my soul, I didn't know I was going to end up destroying everyone. I only wanted fame and fortune. I was a fool. Elric. I need to do something now, or we're both going to die. Goodbye, Catherine. What are you doing, Elric? Just let her die, and we will have the whole world just for the two of us. The two of us? Does that mean that Rengda is no more with us? Don't worry about Rengda. Elric, don't do this. 
Elric knew. Well, Elric did something. Something that seemed to have upset the Antichrist. Cat, there's one minute left for the ritual to work. It's impossible for me to know what's going to happen after this. Are you ready? I'm ready. <clears throat> I guess with this, we managed to save the world from the demons. Elric took out the Antichrist or something? Not exactly sure. Excuse me, I've never been here before. When does the video store open? In like 10 minutes, I think. Are you here to rent the new movie? Yeah, I've been dying to watch Man Car Time since I watched the trailer. I'm not too much of a fan, a fan of those movies, but my daughter wanted to see it. That's why I'm here. I'm Catherine, by the way. I'm Elric. Nice to meet you. So I guess in that world, the universe reset and Elric uh, regained humanity. And with that, we have finished. Well, I, I would say half because, uh, you know, we got all this, but it does look like there are more games on the other side. Uh, so let's, uh, I guess, get cracking on those. Okay, so we've completed the entire chain of events streaming off of Kyoto. Streaming? Stringings, probably more what I meant. Uh, it seems that we've so far done 16 games and there are 22 more. So it seems like more is going on uh, in Wyoming than branching off of Kyoto. So I guess it's time to find out what actually happened in Wyoming, and I believe it was 1968. What lies in wait? <clears throat> Game by Vladimir Lore. We can move, we can interact. We have an inventory in this one. Let's check out this tape. May your prayers be answered here. Do not play. We've seen we've seen a, a tape that said do not play before, and we were perfectly fine. okay. You're safe now, my child. I won't let it get to you, Lucy. Lucy is uh, not looking so good there. There are fates worse than death. I didn't expect to see the face of a dear friend so soon. Did I misinterpret the chain? You've made no mistake, Damien. Something unexpected has occurred unexpect oh I, i'm guessing that this is the um the antichrist haha -ha. i've never known the god of time to be surprised it's catherine i can only speculate the cause but her decisions <clears throat> normally grains of sand dropped in a river have mysteriously become boulders carving new streams she has become unbound unbound interesting she may be the key to ending it. Please, Kronos, bring her to me. About that. I wasn't the only one who noticed. Oh, shit, that was very bright. Okay, we're in a little cabin. We can activate. Huh. I thought this was one of Kronos' glasses, but I can't seem to activate it. I guess it's just a normal hourglass. I need to move my water bottle, actually. Water bottles like right where I want to put my elbow and kind of throw me off a little bit. Um, I mean, look at these candles. Mmm. Smells like candle. I mean, that could be a lot of things. <clears throat> this bed smells musty. Real smell centric. Now, that's a pretty nice jacket. It's pitch black. There has to be a light somewhere. <clears throat> Been a while since. Eye of Ined the Cold... F oh. Ined the Cold Food and <laughs> of Hot Eat the Food. It's, I, I really love that post. It's, it's, a, it's a good one. Of Out Hot Eat the Food. Classic. So this is Wyoming. Doesn't look like there is anything for miles. Chrono spawned me here for a reason. I should explore this place before blindly heading out. Well, we are in need of light... This will work. Just need something to light it with. Nothing in the nightstand. Can we light it with the oven? No, it does not seem we can light it with the oven. Oh, we, we have an inventory in this game. Candle. We don't have a way uh, to light it, though. <clears throat> spawn. Why did it just say spawn? Hmm. 
Not exactly sure. So we have a candle. Don't have the means to light the candle. You, you'd think you could like just, uh, well, I guess depending on what kind of oven this is, I assume there'd be like a flame in there. There's some matches in the pocket. Mine now. Do we have to <clears throat> do anything or do we just go over? And yes, yeah, so we automatically use our candle. So we now have a light source. Uh, that's why we needed it. I thought this would be like a bathroom for some reason, but I guess we're descending into a basement. Just a little uh, altar down here, I suppose. Is this where the ritual took place? Am I too late to stop it? No. There must be something I'm missing. Gross. These aren't fresh, but they're not that old either. What are they, like eyeballs? I assume that those are eyeballs. It's just, yeah, where the ritual took place. A journal, March 3rd, 1968. It's only gotten worse. <clears throat> this constant noise. A thousand voices talking all at once. It's deafening. I can barely hear myself think anymore. All I have left is prayer. April 16th, 1968. Just when I thought I couldn't take any more. My prayers were answered. I still hear their voices, but it's no longer just noise. They've begun speaking as one. August 22nd, 1968. I have a hard time telling what are my thoughts and what are theirs. <clears throat> I've been compelled to dig. I started the hole behind my altar. That's where the voices were strongest. September 12th, 1968. They want, they want to make me an angel, but they can't until I sacrifice my sight. And listen. So are we going to yeah, move this out of the way? I thought there were, Yeah, here we go. Move. So we can move the altar and enter the hole. Yeah, okay. This could be like red from clay, uh, you know, a clay deposit in the soil, or it could be meat, the good old meat cavern. I'm going to, for now, until we have more reason to believe uh, that, that it's meat, that it is just um, clay. Catherine, Kronos has deceived you, but fear not, for I watch over the, what? Ugh, my head. Who's there? Show yourself. Come forth, my child. Life is a creek. Your tr life's a creek. You've thus far drifted blindly, and I am the water on which you float. <clears throat> the ocean where all things end, and the rains that replenish. Enough with the metaphors. I am the mother of all creation. Th uh, though you may know me better as God, don't look like any God I know. Whatever happened to being uh, created in your image? A selfish lie humanity tells itself to obfuscate their or their insignificance. So we're just ants to you. Atoms to the cosmos would be more accurate. What does the cosmos want with an atom? Damien is a, a monument of hubris. Believing his powers ordains him the right to hoard souls. So long as he is allowed to exist, <clears throat> life is destined to perish. Tell me something I don't know. Yeah, give me something to work with here, God. You're wasting time. I need to stop the conjuration ritual. Have the pieces not clicked for you? There is no conjuration ritual. Kronos sent you back in time as a mercy killing, hoping you'd run out of the clock. What? No, he owed me. As he owed me. My treacherous disciple has a habit of betrayal, only interested in his own benefit. There is still hope. I will send you uh, to the moment Damien is most vulnerable. And with this, you will smite him down. And anyone else who dares to try and stop you. And what do you get out of this? A thorn removed from my paw. Should you seek my guidance, you will find me where the seeds of faith have been planted. Go forth, my angel of death blue? Chrono stream was always green. Ugh. Speak of the devil. Catherine, my attempts to keep you off the board have only promoted you to being the most important piece. You have my deepest apologies. 
I don't need your apologies. I need you to get out of my way. If you attempt to stop me again, Damien will not be the only casualty. There is much you do not know. Allow me to take you back to your time. Damien will explain. You'd see me face the Antichrist at the height of his power? I need you to trust me, Catherine. I don't know what lies that thing spun. Is it a lie that you sent me on a wild goose chase? <clears throat> Things are different now. You have been gifted a power that can end this conflict, which I adamantly intend on doing. Now move. Catherine, don't be so rash. I implore you to reconsider. Do I shoot his Morpheus-looking ass, or let him take me to Damien? Um, Spirit says, oh, I see. We can see, like, the, the names of the game uh, at the bottom. Well, we should spare him. You know, it might be a trap, but, I mean, we do have this fancy uh, translucent gun, so might as well as, you know, go check out what's up with uh, Damien. We have good faith. Good faith. It's by Octal Otter Games. We're going to move and advance dialogue. Uh, suspiciously did not mention <clears throat> anything to do with gunplay, unfortunately, which, you know, we came here so we can do some blasting. Oh, okay. I was like, why can't I turn around all the way? It's like, um, like I'm turning my head. So like, I can't spin my head, you know, 360 degrees. <clears throat> I see Kronos was successful in retrieving you. Welcome, Catherine. Lucy, where's Lucy? What have you done with my daughter? Mm hmm. I think you know the answer to that already. You bastard. Huh? My gun? Where is it? Forgive me, but we had to hide that new toy of yours in order for this conversation to go smoothly. Have no fear, you will have it back once we are finished talking. And what is it you're so desperate to discuss? Tell me, Catherine, what do you think happens when you die? Uh, well, we did just meet God and you are the Antichrist, so I guess we go to heaven? We're told that we go to heaven when we die. That is what God claims, isn't it? It's a lovely story that placates... Placates? Pla placates? Placates. Placates the masses and keeps them subservient. Such niceties are sadly not offered to your kind in the end. The truth of the matter is are far more grim and unkind. Moments after the passing of a human life, God sends an angel to collect the soul. <clears throat> this soul is not ferried to a higher plane of existence to enjoy paradise, neither is it laid to rest. It is harvested. What God intends to do with these souls is unknown to us currently. But we do know that once the harvest is complete, not a, si si um, <clears throat> not a sliver of the person, not a sliver of the, the person that was remains. The process is long, and it is very painful, their essence completely drained, and their mind numbed, and yet the soul continues to live. Oblivion is not even afforded but, uh, afforded these unfortunate uh, many. <clears throat> they are painfully conscious and suffering even now. That is why I have begun collecting souls on my own. I can spare what is left of humanity from this righteous torture, just as I have done for Lucy. Bullshit. You're a murderer. I knew you would be difficult to confess. Difficult to convince. Tell me, when you met with God, did they seem like the kind of benevolent being described in the scriptures? Did it seem like they cared for humans? Eh. I thought so. Could such a God truly invite humans to live with them in paradise after their demise? I doubt that. But perhaps you need further convincing. What's up, Kronos? Ah, Kronos. Perfect timing. Catherine here is in need of some encouragement. Did you bring the tape I requested? It's right here. Excellent. Consider this a show of good faith. Kronos always told you he was unable to send you back to this moment. Uh, but that may have been a white lie. Forgive me, I thought it would be better if you didn't. With this tape, you can change what happened that day. And if you can't, at least you'll get to see an angel at work. Best of luck, Catherine. I hope you don't regret this. <clears throat> and we're being time warped, it would seem. Okay, well, we're out and about. Oh, hey, what's up? Cat, what are you doing here? I thought you said you were going to stay home and look after Lucy. Uh, Urza, is that really you? What? Of course it's me, sweetie. Damn. Am I that dirty already? 
What's gotten into you, cat? You look so pale. Is Lucy all right? You died. You you died, Urza. You never came back home. God, cat. Don't say such things. I'm perfectly fine. See, I'm sorry to have worried you so much. If you're that scared uh, something might happen to me, then maybe it's best if we work together today. We'll be finished in no time, and then we can head back home. Does that sound good? Y yeah, let's get done quickly. Okay, good. I'll check out this area. If you could look around, that'd be a great help. We don't seem to have our um, our god gun anymore. Hmm. For some reason, inspecting this is very, very finicky. These flasks ended up being surprisingly durable in the end. This one is empty. We have uh, more. We have more than we need back home. I'll leave this here. Okay, we don't need a hydro flask. There's a backpack. Hmm, what's this? Could be something good in here. Cat behind you? Uh-oh. Well, someone got us. Well, 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 what have we here? It looks like a couple of nobodies. Please, let us go. We're no threat to you. Maybe not you, but her, however. Now, just what are you doing with an artifact like this? So we did have our gun. We just weren't, like, brandishing it. Stop this. Let Urza go. He's got nothing to do with this. I can tell you everything if you just let him go. Sorry, no can do. His soul is still valuable. Look around you. It's the end of the world. God is purging this world in preparation for the next. The only thing left is to collect the souls of the living. If you have any dignity left, you'll give them up freely. This isn't good. Yeah, no it is not. Urza, is this how you died? I can save him this time, but... I can't let those two take that gun. Should I save Urza and get out of here? Or risk it all to get that gun back? Mm. Well, we, we could assume that retrieving the gun would be beneficial in trying to rescue Urza. But based on the way that it is phrased, we probably only have one option. And, uh, you know, we did a lot for, for Lucy. So we should probably, you know, offer the same... Um, just absolute one-minded doggedness to to rescue Urza as well. Or I guess it's Ezra. Yeah, Ezra. I keep saying Urza. Um, okay, so we have more branches. <clears throat> but we're going to, you know, obviously we're just going to continue forward until we hit uh, a dead end. Ow, I just smacked my toe on the floor. Executive order. Executive order. This is a game by I. Williams. And it looks like we're just going to be left mouse button and something. <clears throat> I every time a game loads now I'm, I just stare over at OBS being like oh please for the love of god you know pick it up um, don't let anything go wrong <clears throat> Kronos we need your help that's a fancy warp noise Catherine what have you done we need to get out of here not so fast, you Morpheus-looking fuck. You, no one had mentioned, like, Kronos being Morpheus-like until we got to this side of the branch. You know, people keep saying it. Oh, he just popped. Wow, he did just pop him. I guess that, that was the god gun. Well, our... Our uh, attempt to rescue... Ezra did not go well at all. Ezra, Kronos, why not join them? Catherine, Catherine, do not be afraid. Your body may have been vaporized, but I've intercepted and rescued your soul. Wh wh who are you? I am Gaia, the life force of this planet, and you, Catherine, are the chain breaker. The chain breaker? Yes, you are destined to end this conflict between celestial beings, Damien the Antichrist, and God the creator of all. For too long they have uh, tortured the beings of Earth, harvesting their souls for their own use. I, I just wanted to save Lucy. Together, we will make sure no life ever has to suffer the same fate as Lucy again. To aid in your battle, I will give you a new body and grant you power beyond comp comprehension. First, a token of friendship from a dear loved one who recently and tragically passed. Kronos' beloved shoe. He was always talking about his shoes. They will give you unmatched speed, allowing you to move so fast, it will seem as if time has stopped. 
Next, I will channel the spirit of every living creature into a regenerative energy shield so that you may be protected in your time of need. You will not suffer alone. And finally, forge from the great red cedar trees of our ancient forests an iron ore from the Earth's core, a golden AK-47. Thanks, Gaia. With this power, you can end the suffering caused by these otherworldly intruders. But there's no way I can kill both of them. There is no need, my child, for you see, Damien and God's life force are joined like the links of the chain of a chain. Ending one will end the other. You are meant to break the chain. That that's all it's bullshit. Maybe, but now it's time for you to choose. Will you pursue da Damien and his one thousand story? tower located in the center of cyber neo new york and or take on god in his demented inverted chaos castle below reality um to be honest the, the inverted chaos castle sounds pretty good the holy halls of god it looks like this uh this one looks like it's at the end of this branch let's inspect that tape it's just a sun uh, game by Workus. We're going to move. We're going to interact. We're going to shoot. We can slow down time. Let's get. Let's get in there. Let's go. Blast some motherfuckers. I mean, we got that special gun and we didn't get to use it, but now we have a different special gun. The Holy Halls of God. Okay. If I right click, if I right click, uh, everything slows down, and then, yeah, one would assume that left click is you know how to blast things. Interact. We will all live eternally as long as there is a God. You must be so happy to learn that he will become one of us soon. Put down your weapon and accept the gift which has been given to you, eternal life here in heaven. We won't harm you as we do not believe in violence. Welcome to heaven, sorrowful soul. You need no more anger. Rest now, sorrowful soul. It must be so exciting to learn that you are allowed to stay with you, here with us forever. This is the end of your journey. Rest now and accept your fate, living eternally in heaven. Soon enough, you will become one of us, freed from all your burdensome emotions. There is no need for violence. There is no need for death in heaven, only eternal resurrection. Long gone are the times you had to live as a miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> now you will be the one of us soon. Okay, it seems like they're starting to loop. Well, we'll just, I mean, if we, if we don't have to blast them away, I guess we'll just we'll just walk on by. Like, I guess we could, we could shoot them. We might have to go back and shoot them, but, you know, for now, oops, I fell off. Well, I guess we'll see what happens when we fall. Okay, when we fall, it spawns us back in. Uh, we just kind of drops us back down, and then we have to manage to land, uh, or else it will, will continue to fall, it would seem with how uh, narrow some of these passageways are. Uh, it's a little a little easy to accidentally walk off. I mean, I guess I could like, oh, I could slow down. Well, I guess it's not, we're not slowing down time. It seems like even though there were Cronus' shoes, they, they gave us super speed. That made it seem like time was frozen as opposed to like, you know, Cronus just being like, no, 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 I, I like, I'll just, you know, the world like freeze time. And we are so low to the ground. I just realized so either this place is supposed to be giant, or we're not particularly that large. I guess, are, are you God? You know, approaching something and being like, hey, is that God? And then shooting, it's probably not, not the best instinct. But, I mean, something happened. And as promised, with the death of God came the death of Damien and all evil. As the creator of everything vanished, so did the creation itself. Everything that is left now. Everything that is left now is nothing, and nothing is what is left. Was that really what you wished for? Yeah, I mean, ending creation doesn't sound like it's going to get uh, Lucy back for us. Um, do we just have to back out? We might have to back out of this one manually because it doesn't seem to be close okay no and it just it just took a bit oh that one did something something happened to the first tape should we go back to the first tape or should we continue exploring outwards i guess we can inspect it inspect okay 
Ghost. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure if we should jump into this one immediately. Oh yeah, look, the that one has a, a different chain coming off. So I guess maybe by doing that, this will unlock maybe the final area. That's what it's supposed to kind of represent. Not exactly sure, but we'll just work our way backwards uh, like we did um, previously. And this time we'll pursue Damien. <clears throat> Damien? Is that what that says? Kind of got like a Castlevania type font there. Uh, this game's by a couple people. Bryce Bryce Butcher, music by Ben Jury, uh, Secretary Simone Pel Peltier. That's interesting that the uh, Secretary uh, samples by Modus Interactive. I guess let's find out what's happening with Damien. Cyber Neo New York 26XX. Damien Tower stands taller than any structure before it, lording above the clouds. It serves as a monolithic reminder for to those who remain. To those to whose hope stands tall, the tower stands taller. Like the building itself, Damien's rule is sturdy, immovable, and absolute, a benefactor of death. Tonight is different though. On this night, time bends to a new will. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Okay, well, we have um, an interesting uh, UI here, a photo of Lucy. Sorry, no entry. I've been told to keep everyone out. Is there anything I can do to make you change your mind? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Over my cold, dead body. Well, we can make that happen. You know, one shot, one kill. It worked out. We enter the building. Cool little pyramid with faces. Hello. Do you happen to have an appointment? Oh, maybe it meant like secretary, like um, the uh, the actor portraying the secretary as opposed to this was the secretary for our game uh yeah i'm here to see damien considering this building is supposed to be under complete lockdown i sincerely doubt it uh relax i hate this job and i'm not a snitch oh well in that case sorry but no i don't have the means to get you up to D damien's penthouse besides it'd be too risky up uh, for some reason i feel like damien should be spelled with two a's instead of an e on the end I don't know why that keeps getting me. <clears throat> Do you think you could disable that metal detector for me then? Hmm, that's also pretty risky. I take bribes though. You wanna see a picture of my daughter? When is this? A picture of your kid? Yeah, cute. Kronos' shoes? If I give you these shoes, will you turn that metal detector off for me? Fuck it, why not? Thanks Kronos, your shoes came in handy. As a security officer? You just go ahead and, well, we don't have to kill him. We, he seems distracted by the monitors. I don't think he realizes I'm here. Well, okay then. Yeah, just take care of that problem. So now we won't have um, people watching us. Is that the penthouse? That's got to be where Damien is. I think it's. Uh, I think I see a safe in there. I can't. Uh, I can't get into it. There's a padlock on the handles. Oh, can we just fix our problem? Yeah, we can just shoot it off. Okay, there's some kind of puzzle here. I would assume the idea is we want to line up the scratches. Yeah, you line up the scratches uh, to get a, a key card. Oh, look at that, a key card. It says penthouse key on it. That's convenient. Clipboard. There's some kind of document here. As per the security uh, department's request, the paint on the safe dials has been scratched off and each dial has been randomly rotated around. Anyone who has operated the safe prior had their memory wiped, so its proper combination rests only in the mind of Damien himself. Fortunately for them, uh, you know, we have basic <laughs> problem-solving skills uh, and we were able to figure it out. So we will use that. Oh, card reader, okay. I thought we'd have to use it to get into the elevator, but no, we use it once we are in. Once we're in the elevator, we we uh, scan our card. 
going all the way up to the top. Take a while. For some reason, the carpet in here looks like grass. It always weirds me out whenever people get grass-colored carpet. I, like, you don't see it a lot, but it, it's always just like, oh, that's fucking grass, and then it's not. And I don't I don't know why. It just, it, 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 it gets to me. I don't know why. All right, I think this is it. We'll go to Damien. Just looking out at the moon, you know, very cool um, ambiance, you know, to this fancy water room, looking at the moon. Damien. <clears throat> Hello, Catherine. You know, it's kind of funny. At this point in my life, I haven't actually met you yet. You're exactly how I'd always imagined. I don't actually know what I've told you, but I know what I've told myself. I am going to save your soul now, Catherine. Oh shit, going into boss mode. It's coming over here, but we got a blessed AK-47. I question how well you know me if you thought that was going to work. Oh no, our blessed AK-47. It's not even real gold. Listen. I'm trying to do you a favor here. Oh no, our shields. That had the life force of every living person's soul or something in it. You look scared. What do you think is going on here exactly? I'm trying to help you. I thought you would have known that. <clears throat> Fuck you, Damien. You know what? Maybe you don't deserve what I'm trying to offer you here. It's all in my hands, after all. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to keep Lucy to myself. She obviously means a lot to you, right? She must be something special. Oh no, he has our god gun. Say hi to god for me. Huh? No. Is that? But I thought you were. I'm a time traveler. Aren't you with him? Why are you helping me? <laughs> Look at this fucking green sword. Here. Let me help you up. I was spending some of my free time traveling around, and the funniest thing happened. I came across my own soul. It told me what happened. Everything. I made a deal with Damien. I told him my soul was off limits. I guess the guy couldn't help himself. Honestly, I'm glad to see you're all right. Uh, glad to see you're all right, Cat. But you know, killing him isn't really going to change your ultimate fate. Well, about that. Wait. What the hell did you do? Nothing, I swear, but listen. Damien, God, they were connected, the chain. There's Lucy. Looking exactly the way we remember. Her head definitely on the correct way and not facing completely backwards. Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Do you ever have bad memories? Well, yeah. Not everything in life can be great, but but it's what makes the rest of it so meaningful. What bad memories are you having? I don't know. Some guy is holding me. There's fire, I guess. I think you were having a dream, honey. Sometimes those get mixed up with memories. Oh. Oh, it's man car time. I used to love watching this before. Hmm. What am I talking about? Before? What? Sounds like there's someone at the door. We'll check the front door. Who is it? Uh, it's it's Ezra. Hey, honey. Did we get a good end? And time rattled on. Catherine Carmela Blanche. I don't know where you've gone, but I'll be seeing you there, Cat. So I guess we just lived a long, happy life with uh, Lucy and Ezra after 
whatever happened to Damien happened. Um, I mean, I guess I was going to say it wasn't exactly like when we killed God because we, we haven't, I guess, seen the follow-up to killing God and creation itself disappearing. So who knows? The ups and downs, the ebbs and flow. With each day, life takes its toll. Sometimes a pittance, sometimes a hoard. Enough beauty and pain, finally, death strikes a chord. An eternal promise of eternal rest. An unfortunate truth that serves humanity best. Sleep well, Catherine. Well, it seems like we were able to accomplish our goal in this one. We saved Lucy. We got, like, our husband back, I guess. So, you know, it all, all worked out. That was an interesting one. A very different um, setup than, like, what we had uh, seen previously. So, I guess now we'll go back to this one. What was this one? This one was... Um, <clears throat> Damien offered us... No, no, this was the gun. Uh, so this time we'll go after our gun. Because rescuing Ezra didn't actually do anything. Uh, dude just immediately got popped. So let's try and get that gun this time. The weight of generations. Excuse me. A game by Moya Horror. Uh, Amo Sorry. With music by... Uh, Nikki Kuki Mind Sane? All right, I guess let's begin the weight of generations. Um, press any button to grab the weapon. Ezra, no. We were able to get our gun back, but Ezra got got. So our gun takes a second to um to let me uh, fire again. This is interesting the way they they kind of like pop down on the ground and kind of go like 2D. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. This is video games, baby. We gotta hit those exploding barrels. Please stop beating me. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, these uh, these like we we do we got we got a strange shadow zombie horde coming after us. It doesn't seem like we're able to actually defeat um, defeat them. It seems like they just kind of go down for a bit and then get back up. So I'm not sure what we should really be doing here. Um, you know, because we can we can fight back, but our ability to fight back, as you can see, is pretty limited. And we don't seem to be, like, removing them from play. Oh, someone's on my ass. Let's go ahead and pop that. And now we're back over by Ezra? Nope. A little further than I thought. This is interesting. A very stylistically interesting looking game. Uh, I like the way it looks. Not exactly sure about what we're doing. I mean, obviously we're... Oh, hey, yeah, here's Ezra. Like, are we just doomed to fail here? Are the zombies actually getting defeated? Because it does seem like there might be less now. It's kind of hard to say. Oh yeah, there we go. You have to like double tap them to, to get rid of them. Or maybe I just lucked out on that one. And it just happened to run out of health, perhaps. Yeah, because our gun, this is about as quickly as it can fire. Like, we don't have to reload it. But it does need a moment to do its thing. Did I just luck out and happen to kill that one? Maybe uh, we're supposed to lose here. And it's just a matter of how long can you put up the fight for. Yeah, because if I keep bumping into people from behind, that's a problem. Like, yeah, we saw that one pop. Maybe you just have to knock them down a certain amount of times to make them uh, go away. 
Maybe that's what's happening here. Not exactly sure. I wasted all my exploding barrels, so unfortunately... Oh, no, I just saw some get up. So I think... <laughs> I think this may be a losing scenario. N not exactly sure, but it does seem like it. They do kind of clump up in strange ways. Like, if we could kind of get them all into, like, a conga line, you know, it'd be easier. But doesn't seem to be working that way. And they do seem to be spawning in as well. So I'm not exactly sure that this is going to work. But I guess, you know, all I can do is keep shooting. <clears throat> or I guess I could purposely let them, like, grab me until I die or whatever. Yeah, because it does not seem like we're thinning the horde at all. Um, so I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I should just let them... Let them have have at me. Try harder. Well, I'm mean, trying. Okay, now we do have to uh, defeat that horde somehow. I'm not exactly sure what I could have done better um, <clears throat> in taking them out. Uh, perhaps smarter use of the um, the exploding barrels. I don't know. Because, like, there's only a few right now. So I just need to be a little bit more careful with how I'm leading them, perhaps. Maybe that's what's happening here. Yeah, because we, we run out of those exploding barrels pretty quickly. And I'm not exactly sure what we could be doing that'd be better than last time uh, but I guess I'm just gonna have at it since it, it told me to try harder so it must must be possible I assume it might not be you know it might just be a, a losing scenario but I'll uh, I'll have at it for a bit and see if anything changes uh oh well I held out for a while and Ended. No surprises here. Ezra is dead. The text is cut off. As a result of your use of the legendary weapon on mortals, their potential generations have been wiped out. Total carnage. What is the purpose of this fun? Two paths lay ahead. Either you head back to your apartment and maybe reach Lucy in time before the kidnapping. Or you trust me to know what is best in the situation and jump to a time and place of my choosing by touching this hourglass. Okay, so that timing ended up being really convenient uh, because a train was coming, and as I was like reading those lines, I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, is this is this gonna work out? I don't know." Um, it seemed like we just needed to outlast a certain amount of time because um, you know I was just running and gunning. Uh, I did find out. <clears throat> Holding right click uh, allowed you to look down the sight of the gun so you could, um, you know, shoot easier, uh, make shots better. Um, and also that there was a run button so we were able to uh, run around. Um, I suppose our options we will run to the apartment since that one is the one where Lucy was mentioned. <clears throat> and you know, we gotta, we gotta go check on Lucy. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have a game or a name on it. Spec tape. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks like it got wet. I'm sorry for, for you poor um, poor VHS. This game is by Sebastian uh, Le Light Light Tila Tia Latilla Latia. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, there's some of the names uh, I'm seeing here that weren't on um, the name of the developers I read at the beginning uh, was just on the itch.io page. Uh, I, couldn't find a, I guess, more comprehensive list. So, I mean, at least we're going over the creators as we play their games. <clears throat> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Here. It's here. The last building on the left. Okay, well... We're no longer being pursued by zombies, but the world isn't in a any better of a state. Last house on the left. The debris is blocking the entrance. This isn't like I remember it. 
It wasn't like this. It's worse now. It's a lot worse now. Oh no, Lucy. I hope she's alright. Wait, there's a back door. Yes, the back door that leads into uh, Kronos's, uh video rental store. Because, you know, Kronos, Kronos likes to, to do stuff with the time and such, but also just loves, loves a good VHS. Shit, it's locked. Way too high to climb. I think I saw the property caretaker's van nearby. Okay, we'll go get in the van and use that to create a platform. Is that what we're uh, thinking here? Are we going to be able to access the van? Uh... Are the keys in it? Is it just happened already be on? What's the deal? Are we just gonna climb up? Hmm. No. There wasn't like a prompt to interact. We are so short, I just realized that too. Uh, like we stand like Yeah, hmm. Oh here we go, we go to the back. Oh god no. That's that's the caretaker. Poor old man. I have to take the keys. Ah oh, fuck. Lucy. Okay, well, I guess that makes more sense that we were going to acquire the keys to the door as opposed to, um, <clears throat> you know, moving the van to, you know, create a platform. Uh, you know, the the video game-ass video game thing. I mean, we still got a key to a door, which is a video game-ass video game thing, but, you know, that's it. It works. Lucy. We come in to our private backyard. Pretty, uh, dis not disappointing, but... This isn't the kind of backyard where you're going to like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go back there and have fun. It's like, oh, I'm bricked in. Lucy. Lucy. Mom? Where's Ezra? Lou. He's fine, Lou. We need to go. Okay. Remember the car, the car graveyard? Yeah. The one where we saw the walk wagon with all the flowers. We'll walk through that real quiet. Like Lupin. If you see someone, just be quiet. Okay, Mom. Like Lupin. I like this family. Then we go to the woods. There's a path to the coast. Then we take a boat. There should be a few boats there. I don't think we're going to go fishing. At some point, we might. But first, we need to find a boat. I'm sorry. Is it a bad time? Uh, Mom. His eyes are weird. We have not met. But you have seen a part of me, the man from the ritual, Isaiah. Yeah, I am also Uriel, but you can call me Isaiah. I come with a message. What is it? I want to express my gratitude, and also on behalf of the being you know as God. Why? You have successfully prevented the worst. By the worst, I cannot elaborate because, well, it is beyond human comprehension. But it has been a delight working with you, Miss Blanche. What happens now? What do you think happens now? Mom? The ocean looks funny. There are fates worse than death. Mom? It's alright, Lucy. It's alright. There are fates worse than death. There are fates worse than death. Yep. All right, okay, well, we, we were going to try and make a break for the ocean and be real quiet, like Lupin, we can assume. They're talking about Arsene Lupin, the, the first, and not my boy, Lupin the third, but you, you never know. It could be an anime loving family. So let's go back to this one. Oh, I can't click on There we go. Let's fast forward. And this time, let's, uh, I guess, trust in Kronos and see where we end up. Does that say God Hunt? <clears throat> God Hunt R. Lucy. Lucy's a God Hunter, it would seem. Game by Cuttlefish. We just move and advance text. <clears throat> well, let's see where old Kronos decided we should go. Ah. It's cold. It is actually really cold where I am. What the? What is this place? Somewhere in the north? Okay, we have a cursor. 
Kronos told me to take a look at these if I ever needed help. Haven't been helpful once so far, but it's not like I see anything else to do. We're nowhere. At the end of all things. At the beginning of all things. Hello, Catherine. Enough, Kronos. I'm tired. I'm tired of it all. Where's my daughter? I understand your patience is wearing thin, Huntress, but you, and don't you dare call me that name again. That's a name I left behind. You've left behind a, a quantity of different names over the eras, haven't you? Damien remembers the one you were born with. God Hunter. But you've come for guidance, not reminiscing. Walk toward the Aurora. That's where the ending lays. All right, we will walk towards the Aurora. It's so majestic. Here we go. <clears throat> the winds of time have also whispered your last name. The name you will die with. God Hunter. The air's different here. It's still beautiful, but... What's going on? Oh, hey, it's God. What's up? God, in quotations. You have come far, seedling, but this is where your journey ends. Where's Lucy? Gone. W what? Gone. 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 The snow as ashes to a failed promise, the light as a reminder of her passing. <clears throat> Over eons I have grown accustomed to the cold detachedness, detachedness of the universe. I wonder, however, have you? You have made countless mistakes over your journey here. Too trusting, too bloodthirsty. I see worlds where it isn't so. Would you like to see what I see? Hell no. Screw that jazz. Then you will die braver than the others. False chain to God. Oh, is this a boss fight now? Did we, did we shoot God? <clears throat> I did the best I could, but you can't do much with a broken world. Maybe another time. With the passing of the false God, the world was left ashen. Catherine sat down and pondered upon the aurora. Her death will not be mourned, for there is no one left to do so. Her death will not be swift. That much I can assure you of. <clears throat> and although the cold may grace her cheeks, there is a warmth inside her. Mommy loves you, Lucy. She always will. Okay, well, we we got hunted. We we sure we sure did. Obviously, everything we just saw, you know as well as I do that what we just witnessed was definitely god hunting. Uh, I am still of the mind that this is probably like the end area, since you know we killed God to make it appear, and it's a different colored chain. So I suppose next we'll journey up to the right. What was this one again? Okay, last time we spared Kronos. This time, we're going to shoot his Morpheus-looking ass. 
Deja Void. That's a great name, actually. Um, I can't tell if that says something. It just looks like a bunch of scribbles, to be honest. Uh, it's a game by David Rodriguez, Rodriguez uh, Mad Madrinan. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and uh, Kate Killick. Uh, we move, we interact. Right button to put on and off the glasses. And actually, before we go in, I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, um, what's the deal with the colors for the cassettes? Because most of the cassettes are purple. This one, the Type 1 video cassette, is green for some reason. Even though they're both... Well, the Haunted... Haunted PlayStation Type 1. Haunted PlayStation Type 1. Okay, hmm. Interesting. For some reason, that one's green. <clears throat> There's no coming back from what you did, Catherine. We did just shoot uh, Kronos, God of Time. Kronos' glasses. Okay, so we, we have Kronos' glasses. We put them on. And we see differently. Not exactly sure how that will benefit us just yet. <clears throat> but surely it will since, you know, game with game mechanics. Uh, like, what happens if we, we do it out here in the void? I can't move while we're uh, in this state. So I'm not exactly sure uh, what the benefit of that is just yet. Yeah. Yeah, you, you think time probably not very happy about, um, you know, the god being dead. Seems like we can see into uh, what looks like our apartment. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, we can move here. So we see, assumedly us, missing memory. I guess when Lucy was a baby. Is that Lucy? Or is that a, a big baby doll? I'm not sure. Probably Lucy. Although, assumedly, you know, you wouldn't be looking at the crib without baby in it. Um, I guess maybe cleaning the crib, preparing it so uh, Lucy can be laid down for a little nappy nap. Something like, what's this? My teeth. Well, I can, I can pick up the teeth. We see a missing memory beneath us. We see another uh, vignette. It would appear that we're approaching. Oops, I dropped my teeth. Sitting here, watching. Well, not really watching TV. More is sitting in the presence of the TV more than anything. We can hear crying in the background. Lucy uh, has a bit of a, an aura around her. You probably, you know, you don't want to get so dirty that you start having an aura. You really got to shower before the aura uh, gets that bad. Oh, drop my teeth again. Nothing here. <clears throat> Some kind of old building. There's a baby wrapped up. Her favorite movie. Put the teeth down and grab the favorite movie. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing here. The baby has a little... Well, I saw a little bit of an aura for a second, but it's not here anymore. I mean, we have a movie, so whenever the baby is, you know... Smart enough to understand movie, old enough, um, you know, like, has, like, can understand things. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Okay, I wasn't sure if I could put the, the movie down. <clears throat> so are we seeing a potential uh, future here? Like we see uh, Lucy and she's clearly older and we can kind of see wrinkles on our face, gray. Upgraded the TV finally and also got a laptop. Oops, I just... Sorry, I, I lost the movie, everybody. <laughs> um... Is this where we're going now? Are we going down this way? Not sure. <clears throat> we are able to progress this way. What are these, like a clock, 
like clock cog wheels, something of the like. A baby bottle. Oops, be careful. Is this a new vignette or is this, or have I just managed to work my way back around? Yeah, I just managed to work my way back around. So we have this baby bottle, so I'm gonna make my way down to uh, to that big baby we saw. It was down here, right? No, I guess it was further up. Give the baby the bottle. Is that what we're supposed to be doing here? Because um, we have Kronos's vision. We can see, um, you know, we've found three items, our teeth, the movie, the bottle. Not exactly sure what we should be doing with them or if we even can do anything. Like, I can bring it, the bottle to the baby. But it doesn't seem, seemingly doesn't do anything. Um, I'm not sure if the idea is that we're supposed to um, <clears throat> match the items with the, like, the vignette. Like, would I come over here and be like, well, the, you're... Yeah, there we go. Okay, we have to, we have to complete the missing memories. So they they have the movies. So now we can, um, I guess I'll, I'll grab my teeth while we're down here, because <clears throat> the teeth probably go in the memory of of old. You know, it's like you're old. You got you got some dentures. You know, perhaps we're just bringing the dentures back um, to our older self in a future where you know. Lucy was able to grow up. We were able to grow old. You know, as opposed to the, the lot that has been going on, um, you know, different branching timelines and stuff. It's, you know, oops, no, please give me the teeth. And, uh, yep, put the, the teeth in the water. The betrayal of your own body. Yeah, I know that. I'm a, oh, I'm a, I'm an old hat at uh, your your body betraying you. Uh, I I, uh, I I mean I, I, if you've watched my videos you've you already know this, but I got um I got arthritis on my knees when I was like 16. Um, when I turned 29, my blood started clotting horribly. Um, it's uh it's 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 not been fun, not 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 been a good time. The body just being like, oh, you know what, no. No, no, no. Mm. Why don't you, this is this is this is your problem now? And it's like, oh, thanks. Well, we brought back the bottle and, and nurtured childhood. <clears throat> uh oh, the glass is broke. Where are we now? We're in the future. Lucy's face looks a little strange. And our well, well, we're uh, we're following ourselves, you know, just just having a look. Our face is also strange. I couldn't really make it out. What happens if we turn? Oh, Lucy also follows a little bit. I didn't I didn't see that before. That's fun. Well, what's up with this? I believe that this was Lucy's room that we entered. No, Lu Lucy's room is on at the end of the hall. Ah, uh, see, so yeah, this is. You don't want your your aura to get like this. You got you got to shower before it gets this bad. So uh, Lucy's Lucy's having fun. Where you're doing good. An everlasting bond. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what we should be doing. Oh, here, here's another thing over here. <clears throat> We're traveling through the, the vignettes and seeing the memories we restored. Oh, girl, you got to get that, that face uh, checked. That, oh, hey, we can push ourselves over. That's fun. I guess it's not so much that we're pushing. It's like just the way that the, the model like reacts to us. Uh, that, that's that's fun. I like that. Yeah, you should go see a doctor about that, though. That that doesn't look like it uh, good for you. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, you hate when your door flies off into the endless expanse of green. <clears throat> well, Catherine, you did it. The choice is yours. Run away or protect the child. 
He's already doing Kronos, but Kronos is dead. We can go through the door. Or we can protect baby. You know we're going to protect baby. Come on. Ooh, Time Harrier. That sounds cool. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see how, like, the things branch off. So uh, I guess let's hop into Time Harrier. A game by Autumn Rain and uh, music by Frostali. I guess that's how you would say that. Time Harrier. Let's inspect the tape. Aha. Why is it a home? What? Why it's a home movie? Be kind. Please rewind. Happy face. Well, we actually haven't been doing a whole lot of rewinding of these tapes, but it's fine. Universes and timelines are being destroyed by the minute, you know. We'll rewind them later. <clears throat> Click. A wise decision, but know this. When the time comes, you must fight. All right. Ten years later. What do I... What do I exist as now? A paradoxical ghost protecting over Lucy and myself. Protecting from demons? Angels? I don't know. Ah, uh, here comes some now. The text is auto-advancing, by the way. I'm not forcing it to go. Okay, let's see what the deal is with Time Harrier. Yeah, that's right. I still move with Wazd. But I can move... Uh, I can aim at the mouse to shoot. I like that the um, our character's uh, sprite kind of looks like... like I mean, obviously, it, the idea is it, it looks a bit like a Space Harrier. You, finally, after eons of searching uh, timelines... Oops. Do you even know what you did? The trouble you've caused? No, that one has a kitty face. With Kronos dead, these things are able to travel time streams. Let's walk and talk. Don't worry. The girl won't need your protection anymore. Hey, I, I need... We're, we're going to the source. I need to be able to see the enemies, please. What? You can see me. How can I trust you? You can't trust me, but I'm all you got now. Let's walk and talk. Okay, well. The battle's begun. I don't know uh, what kind of health uh, we have. Um, cause there's, there's nothing, no indication on screen just yet about that. You've grown stronger in this time, as have I. I've had a plan for as long as I can remember. Oops. Working together, we can do it. Post Kronos, any time misplaced being can travel through the time streams. The time stream allows for travel between time periods and timelines, yes, but... Also to the tridimensional gates, the gates that bridge the gaps between our, our worlds. Oh no! I don't know why, but I am having a hard time actually aiming here. Okay, I wasn't sure if we could um, auto fire by holding down the thing. No, I do need to click every time. We're getting closer. Ha ha ha. I assume that this is the Antichrist, but aren't you tired of being nothing more than a pawn in this pointless existence we're given? Yes, we deserve the power to make our own mark on reality. Don't you feel it? Your soul yearns to bend fate. I feel it. You feel it. I'm not sure what I've been feeling. You feel it. And these, these kitty guys are hard to hit. And it gets stronger the closer we get. expecting them to, to chime in then again uh, and then I kind of I was like waiting for them to like start talking again uh, and then I just was kind of like, in, like involved in the game and then I was like oh wait a second they're not they're not coming back just yet huh yeah I don't know why I have such a hard time hitting um, some of these enemies I guess um, perhaps there's a bit of like three-dimensional like aspect to the shots um, that I'm not considering well here here we are from here we can ascend to kill God Seems to be a lot of killing God um, going around lately. 
and finally sees his endless yampering on the lives of all. We can do it together. Oh no, we got taken off the screen. Ascend to the great beyond and kill God. Descend to the depths below and kill Satan. Well, I mean, we were going to kill God, I guess. So let's ascend and kill God. Sure. Ascend. Let's check this tape. Secret Cream. Cream! A game by Secret Cream. Uh, Rafael Fumio Forti. Samuel Santos Ferres. Everton M M Mazepa Game Dev. Uh, Theo Mark Colin. Marina de Maris Rosa. A lot of people on this one. This, I mean, this is the end of this chain here. So I guess this one's going to be a big boy. As soon as I figure out how to actually... There we go. <clears throat> Press space. <clears throat> Where are we? We find ourselves in the beyond, Catherine. The great beyond. Ah. Uh. All right now, where are they? They and who would that be, Damien? Ah, yes, I see. Now she is by your side, supposedly. That, that last rock in my path, which keeps me from fulfilling my true purpose. Who has always despised me despite its inferiority more now than ever? Monument of Hubris, thus I see you. Catherine, I know that it has been long. I believe you have successfully completed your mission. Kronos has never been a viable option. My head, it's throbbing. Okay, well, here we are. We have God. We might as well start off with an attack. His glasses mirror your mind, now shattered. It almost impresses me the effect that time streams can cause on such feeble creatures, uh, on such a feeble creature as human beings. We might as well attack. We have no reason to think that we need to defend just yet. Who are you? I don't remember. M my head. Keep fighting, Catherine. If you don't pull the trigger, I'll end you both. Foolish. This weapon is mine creation. I graced it thee. Well, we'll just keep attacking then. I mean, God seems like to think that it's, you know, pointless, but... Lucy, where is she, Damien? I miss her, my daughter. She doesn't need your protection anymore. Damien? What? Damien, won't you share where Lucy is? Do not listen to them, Catherine. <clears throat> I am the creator, the most powerful being of every realm. You have no means to detain me, especially you, Damien. Weak, frail, powerless, you shall never reach my feet. Not even Kronos could make it this far. Forsaken, you're, you're doomed to isolation. Wrong, because she's with me. Catherine, you amuse me. Try again, I'll show you amusement. You wouldn't. Lucy, shut your trap and... Shut your trap and eyes on the target, sweetheart, or I'll make you as useful as Kronos right now. Well, I guess we should just keep attacking. Maybe we should pick defense just once, just to see what happens. Finally, I'm the highest of beings. I have the right to ru rule above all. I'll forever stay in reality with my doings. My power will pierce the heavens. I cannot believe this. What will become of the universe? You have no idea what you've done. She should have been dead from the start. You do not deserve this power, Damien. Oh, we did it. We killed God. Hooray. God, what have I done? Lucy, please, Damien, I need her. Let me take care of my Lucy. I'm afraid that won't be possible, dear. It won't be because, uh, it won't be because she is now a part of me. Her flesh, her bones, her soul, and her will to live. Everything you call Lucy are all part of me now. Everything so I could ascend and defeat that uh, worthless bunch of tentacles who you call God. Everything thanks to Lucy. She was delicately picked by destiny for greatness. Reality weaved the perfect path for me to pursue and for my triumph to shine. 
Cheer up, Catherine. Appreciate the chance I am giving you. The chance to rejoice in the birth of your new god. That can't be. Lucy, you didn't do that to her, did you? God, Kronos. Lucy, I need you. Where are you, honey? I will rebirth this reality with my image, likeness, and bathe it in my blood forever to stain each and every being. This is my legacy. You are forbidden. What? How? Wait, what are you? Whoa! Damien ceases to exist. Uh huh? Mother, do not be afraid, for I am here. L Lucy? Yes, I have been beside you since your, your first breath in this reality, and every reality. The Lucy you know as your daughter is no longer alive, but worry not, I shall fix everything that has ever been tainted. I will protect every you that, that existed, exists, and will exist. Thanks, Lucy. Well, okay, well, we ascended and we killed God. I mean, I guess it was Damien who ascended, technically. And then, I guess maybe the, um, the idea at the end was that, uh, perhaps, I guess, Lucy became Kronos' cat, the, the god of order, Themis, I believe? Let's descend and kill Satan. Let's inspect. Um, I can't really read what that says. It says, fall, oh, fall from grace. Uh, by Flynn Mitchell. We're going to mouse or arrow and key to move and control. Um, is all I have left? Is all I have left? Is all I have left? Well, let's descend and kill Satan. <clears throat> um, all right, so this one is really small. Um, I guess we'll just begin. Ooh, it's you. Uh, you want to see the big man downstairs, don't you? Now, we don't need to be so cruel. It's best that it stops now. Uh. Okay, uh, Arctic emerges, lanes emerged. Um, as you can probably tell, the the um, window is very, very small. So uh, apologies if I uh, miss some words here and there. Okay, so we can attack. What are our spe We don't have any special. Uh, how do I go back? Um, do we have any items? We don't have any items. So I guess we'll just attack. Um, I think we should get rid of the Arctic first. I, I guess it really doesn't matter. I don't know which one's which. So we'll just start attacking. I kind of wanted to go for the worm-looking dudes because I figured they'd be weaker, but no. Oh, well, I mean, two attacks. I was expecting, I was expecting uh, that enemy to be a little bit more powerful. I like that we're we're her. We're not Catherine. We're just her. <clears throat> Took no damage. Oh, uh, lanes. Oh, because uh, I think lanes blinded us, so we're probably just missing a lot of shots. It's not like we have an option because we can't. Um, we don't have like an item to like fix blindness. We just have to wait for it to go away or for us to just happen to make our attack. There we go. It was, the, it was the last blow. Her was victorious. 40 whole EXP. They don't have anything to say anymore on account of being dead. <clears throat> You're here. Look, it wasn't my idea to start all this absolute malarkey. That troubling kid I birthed has been like this since the beginning. But what can I do? Ugh. I know what you, uh, I know what you want if I could, I could help with that, but I can't. And I know what the other option is. And you know, I'm not gonna make it easy. Okay, well it's time to fight Satan. This is a, a really cute design for Satan, I have to say. Uh, so I guess we'll just start attacking Satan. Oh, Satan immediately poisoned us. You hate to be poisoned. So, so far, we've dealt uh, about, like, 190 points of damage. Just thinking about, like, how much health did you... Do? Well, it, well, Satan ha had a little less than 400 health, it would seem. Um, Harder had more health than Satan. It 
If it's all coming to this, you're going down with me. And so, it all returns to nothing. I'm happy to stroke your hair one more time. And it would seem that was the end. Uh, we defeated Satan. Uh, it all started over again since Satan, I guess, took us out with him. And yeah, nothing seems to be happening here. Oh, no, there is something. You're here. Oh, it's starting over again. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. I guess I did something and made it restart, but we we beat Satan. We we get it. <clears throat> so from from there, what was this one? Deja Void. Oh, this was, um, we had the option to protect the baby or to go through the door. So in this one, we did not protect Lucy. Uh, I can't really tell what that says. Transport Struggle. Uh, by Scissorware, we can move, we can jump, and we got dialogue options. <clears throat> You have sealed his fate. Okay, well, guess we'll just get going. Oh, nope, I'm falling. Bye. Okay, got to be a little bit more careful. I wasn't sure uh, what the um, situation with this was going to be, if it was going to be like invisible floor. Um, uh, but no, it is It is platform. I must keep going. I have to get back to her. Yeah, we, we got to get back to Lucy. Can't uh, leave her by herself. This looks like my way out. I don't seem to have a means. I can select which hand, but I don't. Nothing's happening. Um, any of the keys don't seem to be doing anything. Is it like moving in real time? Yeah, none of my keys seem to uh, do anything. Hmm. Not sure, and I don't seem to... Yeah, okay, I was able to back out. <clears throat> so maybe there's something we're not able to do with that just yet. Was this like we're supposed to match it up to the clock somehow? Is that the idea of what's happening here? That these would uh, match the hands in some way? Am I not just... Is it supposed to match the clock hands somehow? Or is this a matter of we just want to make them both green? I'm not sure. Because we weren't able to do anything with this. Um... The clock is in different spots, though. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how these two relate. Because um, one could assume that, like, you want them to point similar ways to the clock. But also, like, these things just turn green eventually. So, like, am I, I should probably just wait for it to turn green and then stop it, right? Like, I mean, that it makes sense to me. Also, because I'm uh, not exactly sure how these would line up with the clock hands, like which way it's ticking. Is it is it just like two options? Like it's just it's either flat or it's a diamond shape. Is that all there is to it? I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really understand what this wants us to do at all, to be honest. Um, so the hour hand is pointing diagonally um, up, up le left, right? Oh, I'm so tired now. Uh, up, up left, 
and the the uh, minute hand is just pointing upwards. But how do we how do we input that? You know. Like I'm not exactly sure how. I mean, like clearly, do, what I'm doing is not right. Just waiting for it to be green doesn't seem to uh, be doing anything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Oh, okay. Hey, I figured out. Um, we can click on the. Um, <clears throat> if I if I click on the hands, then we can we can move them by pointing at the time. All right, so that's good. Now I just need to figure out how this plays into that. Because, like, we can we can turn these. And, like, you know, it's making a clock sound. So, obviously, oh, you know what? I'm probably supposed to count how many, um, like, maybe we assume that they start in um, a certain position. So, maybe I should be uh, taking note of how many times... They uh, they turn, um, so I guess I'll just re-listen to that. <clears throat> okay, so the little one moves eight times. The big one moves five times. So let's come back here. I don't know if we're supposed to assume that they're starting um, starting at the top. So like you know, we move eight ticks down. So we just move over to. Eight. Then swap over here. Move this down to five. Okay, it was it was as simple as just move it as many times uh, as you hear the things. Will you make your way out by train or by taxi? Oh, this was kind of a short one. Like I guess you know that that puzzle did throw me for a loop. Uh, we'll take the train, which brings us to the end of this road. Can't really make out what that says. It's uh, blotted out, and it seems like it says the end. A uh, game by Ryan Trawick. Seems like we move and interact. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Train station. This is an interesting look. I haven't really uh, seen a game that looks like this uh, in this collection thus far. With the, the kind of rendering like this it makes me think of a specific era of like PC games. I'm glad it's like this. All right, cool. I'm happy that you're glad that it's like this. I mean, I don't really have much of an opinion about how this is because I don't know. It's very different than what I'm used to. But is that good or is that bad? What am I doing here? It's a good question. <clears throat> So are we to assume that we arrived by train already? We took the train out of that last place, and now we're uh, at our destination, wherever we were going. Who knows where we're going anymore? I don't I, I have no clue. We we're trying to make our way to Lucy, but, I mean, we left Lucy behind uh, when we went through that door. So it seems like we're just wondering now, lost. Did we forget about Lucy? Are we pursuing a new way to get to Lucy? Are we even Catherine anymore? It's hard to say. Because, uh, I mean, we're not being given any answers. We haven't seen any of uh, characters. Like, uh, like we haven't seen a Kronos. We haven't seen... Uh, well, Kronos is dead. We haven't seen Damien. We haven't seen God. Do you know where we're going? I do not. I don't know. <clears throat> I would assume that... Well, uh, if we arrive by train, you know, we probably don't want to go in the direction of the train tracks since that's just going to lead us back to, you know where we came from and I don't think we're trying to get back there uh, where we are going I don't know I do not know where we're going will we be able to step up this yep it is hopeless you're right it was a good audio clip I don't know why but it always makes me feel like an idiot whenever I'm playing a game and I hear you hear a sound you like and then it's my first like Instincts like, oh, I should make that sound. This is that sound that I heard that I just liked. I should make it too. Um, just a, like a weird primal instinct. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. This is just just no way. I'm not sure <clears throat> where we should be going. There's like lots of towers and such. Uh, but 
what do they mean? I don't, I don't know. I, I thought um, when we saw the um, the stuff in the distance from the train track, I thought this was all going to be like pre-rendered, but it's just, I guess, the filter that they have over it kind of gives it um, <clears throat> some of it, like in the distance, I kind of pre-rendered uh, look. Uh, I think it's kind of interesting. But I also thought these were going to be like buildings, like homes or something, but they do just seem to be like big blocks. It's kind of interesting. What purpose do they serve? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they don't serve a purpose. That uh, that one shadow that we uh, interacted with did say it's hopeless. So maybe, you know, it's all for naught. You know, why even wonder about this stuff? Maybe there is no answer. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not exactly sure where we should be going. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this, this game was labeled The End. So perhaps, you know, this is, you know... The, well, I can't see the, the train track anymore, but, you know, the end of the line, you know? Maybe there is nothing more. There's uh, some strange sounds, but, like, can't see anything. It's not like we're, like, being... Or, well, not to our knowledge that we're being, like, chased or anything. We also haven't seen any shadows over here. Perhaps I'm going the incorrect direction. I don't know. The game, uh... The game's... Y not really giving us a lot to work with, but at the same time, you know, giving us, you know, there's a lot to chew on, like, namely, what the hell? And why is this happening? Is anything happening? I don't know. It's hopeless. I don't think walking towards this wall is the answer. Maybe those towers over there could be more useful to us. I'm not sure. So we took a train. Uh, well, let's start. We we found a door that we went through. It took us to a clock room with a clock puzzle on it. We solved the puzzle, and we had the option of a train or a taxi. We got on the train, and it brought us here. Now, even laying that out, that didn't get us any closer to knowing where here is, why here is, what we're supposed to be doing here. I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, I walked towards this wall. And I'm here now. I not sh maybe I should have gone the other way. <laughs> See, that's that's kind of what I'm worried about. Like we walked across this map only to find out, like, oh no, you've got to go the other way. But I'm guessing that that isn't that isn't what what's happening. I'm guessing that there isn't a specific place we're looking for. In fact, if I had to guess at this moment, I would say that there is no goal to this this specific game that it is just the end you've you've reached it it's hopeless there's nothing to do here there's just architecture for architecture's sake you know i can't be 100 percent sure about that <clears throat> but that would be my working assumption at the moment oh that's fun the way the the building is made you can't see it on the other side is it solid from this side something to do with how the um the wall is set up. It, yeah, it's, it's solid on this side. That's fun. You, you, that happens in video games from time to time. Used to do um, a lot of like custom Left 4 Dead 2 and Left 4 Dead maps. Uh, and you'd see stuff like that from time to time where it's like, oh, you know, this just wasn't properly constructed. It, you know, it happens. Um, obviously here, it's probably intentional for the vast huh of what is going on. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. We may just need to quit out. Because it's it's not like we're, we have any, like, goals. Like, I'm just wandering down this wall. I don't even see anything down there. I'm not sure if at some point we'll hit, like, a thing where it's like, no, you can't walk any further. Was I supposed to go towards one of those black towers? I mean, that's probably what we're supposed to do, is probably head towards a black tower. Um... I guess we'll go over to the tower, see what's up, if anything happens. And if not, we could continue wandering out into desert? Is this sand? Is it rock? I don't know. The, 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 the game has really given us nothing to work with other than... Um, there was that one person who said they liked it this way, actually. Uh, and we do know, um, you know, it's the end. We know. It's hopeless. And really, I... I, you fuck me, I guess that's all we know. 
yeah, I guess we'll just head to one of these towers, and then from there, I guess maybe close down the game. Because it does just seem to be wandering around. Uh, I was gonna say an abyss, but it's not really. Would you call this an abyss? I don't. I don't think you would. Can we climb stuff? Because we we were able to walk up that. So I wasn't sure if like maybe we have a bit more up than I was expecting. That one did not uh, work out for us though. <clears throat> you know, in hindsight, instead of. Um, you know, wondering about the nature of what's happening and so on and so forth. I probably should have walked towards one of these big black towers. They are uh, very obvious. <laughs> you know, maybe uh, it was probably clear that I should go there rather than immediately being like, I'm going to walk to the edge of the map. Fuck it. Uh, here we go. We've reached the base of the tower. I don't even know if we'll be able to do anything. Will we be able to enter it? Will it be blocked off? I guess we're about to find out. <clears throat> it seems like the uh, the glitchiness of like the screen uh, is concentrated inside of the Black Tower uh, a bit more. So I guess it's time to find out what this is. Oh! We gave up our daughter for a shot at time. We gave up a daughter for a shot at time. Hmm. Okay, so I guess the idea is that we're supposed to walk towards those black towers and uh, it'll tell us stuff. I thought there was another one in the distance, uh, but I don't see it anymore. I'm not sure if just this building's in the way, if we got warped and we're somewhere different. Well, there is a tower there. I guess we can enter the tower uh, and see what's up. Yeah, you know, I probably should have, in retrospect, been like, oh, yeah, these big black tower things. I should probably walk towards those. Probably, you know, a bit more obvious than I was making it out to be uh, than just, like, wandering away. Hey, what's your deal? There's nothing. What are you talking about? There's these big black towers. Don't you, don't you see them and love them? Are there only three towers? It seems like there might only be three towers. So, in we go. <clears throat> Our punishment evaded by repetition. It is interesting. Uh, you know, on the, like, full meta level of the game. You know, all the, a lot of the same characters and similar things happening. Obviously, very different styles of them going down like oh you know killing god killing the antichrist killing chronos uh being betrayed uh by them you know on and off teaming up with people different things happening what happened to life oh tell me about it so it's, it's interesting that uh, these games kind of like work with a lot of like this similar similar ingredients but come out so much very different i don't think i can get close enough to talk to you but that's perfectly fine, because I'm entering our last tower, which seems like it was right by the the start. So, whoops, I did this all wrong. <clears throat> Not many chains, but one. And we are returned. Now, I don't know what to do. I don't see any... Uh, Oh, well, it's going white. I was about to say, like, yeah, we don't see any more towers. I'm not exactly sure what our next step should be. You must go back to go forward. I guess we got to go back and get on that taxi in the immediate future. As soon as we're let out of the void. Yeah, okay, that was that was the end. So let's go back. And get on our taxi. <clears throat> what does this unlock for us? Taxi. Spectate. Taxi. Angel of... It's kind of faded. Angel of... Yeah, I can't, I can't make out that word. This is a game by Okulto. We're going to move. We're going to crouch. And I see... 
that we might be doing a little bit of shooting. Oh, it wants God. Welcome, Catherine. Where are we going tonight? I, I don't know. You have a job to finish, remember? I do. Good. I'll take you somewhere less burdened by the dismantling of time. I'll take you to her. What happened? You returned from a place of memories. Broken, but time will heal that. But that doesn't matter now. What matters is what you'll do next. I will kill him. And then I'll have Lucy back. That's the Catherine I know. Don't worry. Don't wash away the anger, Catherine. Don't wash away the sorrow. Keep the pain. Even through the darkest day, it'll make you strong. Was that truly necessary? Kronos, I mean. He used to be my friend. Yes, he became a liability. You saw it yourself. He was working with him. Trust was a privilege he had not, he had lost long ago. And what will happen when I become a liability? <clears throat> you won't. How do you know? From me came the ashes of creation, and from me came the sands of fate, and from those came you. Now go, and don't forget about the gift I gave you. What gift have we been given? Are you God? Okay, well, I can, I can cock her gun. I'm not able to shoot it just yet. We can crouch. Oops, my fingers are in the wrong spot. Looks to be like some kind of church. There's a padlock. Uh, if our gun would shoot, then we could probably, you know, just blah, 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 and get in. But we might not have any bullets. That uh, could be an issue. So we'll just uh, find a different way in. Oh, we can see Damien. We can see Lucy. We're here. Oh, well, we, we, we can assume. Catherine. I was expecting you. What? Lucy? What happened to you? Are you okay? Mom? Is that you? I... Damien. Damien, what did you do to my daughter? I saved her. You couldn't take care of her. There were are things you don't know yet. But now you have the potential, Catherine. Now you can fix this mistake. Now you can fix everything. I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. We're at the end of We're at the end of the world, and you have the audacity to just say this was that this wasn't part of your plan. The truth goes unspoken, Catherine. All you did was bring death, destruction, pain. Oh, you should be careful. Maybe you will start talking about yourself. Mom, what is he talking about? At least I didn't kill my own friend. It was necessary. He betrayed me, and he got in my way. He helped you, the Antichrist. You think so? And you are going to be next. Catherine, what have you become? The Angel of Death. Although I don't, I don't have any bullets, so. Well, Lucy's doing fine. Hmm. I'm not sure. My gun doesn't work. Oh, there we go. I have to. I have to. You have to hold it. You have to hold it down for it to go. Lucy, you're finally mine again, my sweetheart. What did you do, Mom? I can't see. Don't worry. We'll be together again. I'm scared. What happened, Mom? We don't need to be afraid anymore. We're safe. Mom, I'm I'm scared. You're scaring me. It's me, darling. Can't you see? No, you're not my mom. You're different. Please, stay away. Hey, let's go back home, okay? I'll take care of you. Everything will be fine. No, please don't. All right, well, we became the angel of death, and our daughter no longer recognized us. And with that, that is every game before the golden chain we unlocked for killing God. So I, th I guess we're going to be entering the final part of Changed. With that, we've completed the Kyoto path, the Wyoming path, and now all we have is a new path that opened up when we killed God. So I suppose we'll jump back to the first game, which we know says ghost on it now.
the tape one uh a uh, game by neither Nathan, uh, with music by Maya from Vico Sauce. V- Vico Soft. I think I said uh, Vico at the beginning of this video. This is, as you can tell, the recording's been going on for a while. So, so that there, take that. <clears throat> okay, we drop back in. We're back at the the um, video store. Probably a smile you're on camera. Purple Velvet video. He was hiding in here while the world ended out there. Someone over here. Strange man. This is not the Kronos we know, but possibly a kind of Kronos? I'm not sure. Hey, I know that one. Hey, it's you, and you're right on time. What? What? Listen, you're in danger. You need to come with me now. Wait, who are you? How do you know Kronos? I don't have much time to explain. <clears throat> and you might not believe me either way. But I'm going to try either way. Catherine, my name is Lucio. And I'm your son. What? I told you, you I wouldn't believe me. Yeah, but... What you said is impossible. I only have a daughter. Yeah, and I'm her. From another dimension, Lucio, our son. <clears throat> Sorry, but this sounds impossible to me. Come on, you were going to ask Kronos to take you back to <clears throat> back to the past. How much more impossible do parallel dimensions sound to you? How do you know I was going to talk to Kronos? Cat, Mom, I know everything about you. I know why you're here. How? How do you know this? I'm preparing to meet you for a long time. Oh, I'm... I guess it's more like I've been preparing, not I'm preparing. <clears throat> this is my ultimate attempt to save the Macroverse. There is a huge threat that is swallowing whole timelines. And I need you. I need your help. Why? Why me? Because most of the timelines pass through this moment. You lose Lucy, and you come here to try and get her back. Doesn't matter how their, uh, doesn't matter how their respective universes start or end. All those versions of you are, are the same in this exact point in time. And that's why I need you now. Because after you talk to Kronos, the branching starts in the timelines. But what about Lucy and the Antichrist? The stakes have changed. They are nothing compared to the bigger the bigger picture. I know it hurts. I'm your son. But the threat that puts us all in danger is far bigger than all of this. And after you help me, if we, thr- if we thrive, you can even get Lucy back. Sorry, Lucio, but I, I don't believe in you. What do I need to do for you to believe me? <clears throat> Tell me something no one else knows. My maiden name. Catherine Blanche, but you don't like this name. Because of your father. Because of everything that happened. Because of everything. That name implies. You. You really are my son. I told you. Okay. I'm coming with you. <clears throat> Alright, come on then. But wait. Don't you think Kronos would be able to help us? No, Mom. He wouldn't. Where we're going, we don't need time. All right. Well, you got a magic warpy doohickey. Come on, Mom. We have no time to lose. All right. In we go. Ah, the chains. Or I suppose the chain. We know that it's just one long chain, not many chains. Is this where the real change begins? Ah, sunk costs. Okay, so we we branched off there. We didn't make a choice. Not applicable. You know, we're doing we're doing something different. Sunk costs. Spectate. 
Don't quit, cat. You're almost done. Okay, well, this is a game by Devlog98. We can move and we can interact. Let's play. <clears throat> what is this place? Well, how can I explain it? It's where fates are stored, like pickles in a jar. <clears throat> a place free of constraints from time and space belonging to all and no universes at the same time. Hmm, it does look a bit constrained to me with all those chains around. Well, those chains are fates. Pretty weird, huh? <clears throat> so, Lucio, what are we doing here? Oh, sorry. I need you to find an artifact, a very powerful one. After that, I guess we're halfway done on saving the Macroverse. And Lucy, right? Sure, Lucy too. Okay, this is what it takes. What does this artifact look like? It's the only thing em um, emanating cosmic red energy. You won't miss it. Well, all right. I mean, there isn't a lot for us to do. Oh, the, the camera is very sensitive. Uh, so I have to be careful with the uh, the mouse. Swing it a little too much. Uh, it's probably oh, going to make me a little motion sick. Don't typically, oh, don't typically get motion sick, but... I don't know, the, the sensitivity on this thing is uh, uh, very, it is very, very sensitive. All right, well, I mean, we're just walking along some chains looking for something emanating um, red cosmic energy. You know, I, I assume we'll, we'll know it when we see it, but, you know, what are we, what are, what are we looking for other than cosmic red? I guess we're going to have to jump down to this other chain and it looks like we're going to well we might as well just go this way for now see because it looks like it ends but this chain might connect i wasn't sure if yes yeah, so we can get on top of that island i don't know if we want to get on top of that island but i mean we might as well try we can't walk up there <clears throat> i'm guessing the top of this island is just going to loop us back uh, we were probably supposed to go the other way. Oh, well, no, there's cosmic red artifact. Yeah, this must be it. And anchor? Couldn't it be something a little easier to carry around? Well, let me get back to Lucio. I knew you would find the anchor of fates for me. What? Who are you? The Antichrist? No, he is as much of your enemy as he is mine. Really? So tell me who you are. and Maybe I won't try out this damn anchor on you. So eager to fight as ever. I have seen some of the universal constants, but you always manage to impress me. I will answer who I am, but first I will show you the truth you ought to know. Well, if we ought to know it, then we should probably know it. I mean, it's, it's right there in the name. I just noticed that that eye is kind of like goat-like. Um, I believe goat eyes are that kind of like shape. Welcome to the holy halls of God. You are God? I have used the title God on countless timelines, though this time I will not deceive you any longer. I am Themis, the corruption of Gaia. <clears throat> Themis? Like that cat Kronos has? Yes, that disguise as a mere god of order is one of my proudest achievements. Oh, a mere god of order. Yeah, it's nothing. Wait, so you're spying on Kronos, and if you're not with the Antichrist, and you're not with Kronos, which side are you on? I am on your side, Catherine. Oh, is that so? Then why don't you help me save Lucy? You seem pretty capable of helping me out. I already have. What? I will present you the truth. Yeah, we've, we've seen that. What is that? What are you showing me? This is the end of your existence. You press this button and all instances of you disappeared. Not only in your current timeline, but in all timelines. From all universes. Why did I do it? Was I tricked? No, you wanted to save your daughter, as always. Lucy. Your desire to protect Lucy was an, was an universal constant. You never chose otherwise. Although, the two of you were also fated to be apart. Your failure in protecting Lucy was also a universal constant. This is why you press this button. Your end could change fate and allow Lucy to live in a new universe. And did it work? Is Lucy alive on this other universe? Yes, I cannot deny the results. <clears throat> I just want Lucy to be happy. I don't care if it costs my life with her. I know, but still, you could not change your fate unless someone told it to you. What do you mean? Kronos and the Antichrist also desire to change their fate. The forces of order and chaos destined to fight throughout eternity, and yet, 
tired from all the battle, they believed the removal of a universal constant could change their own nature. They attempted to end you on uncountable timelines. They always failed. But the only time they succeeded on their endeavors was when they outright asked you to do it. Okay, they had their own selfish reasons. But in the end, it was my choice, right? You protecting Lucy was a universal constant. Did you really have any other choice there? Order and Chaos can keep fighting like perpetual children, but they should never tamper with the force of Gaia. Gaia? Gaia flows through uh, humanity itself. It is why it is the energy of life, the free will you all have. It's also a gun and shoes. Well, the shoes was Kronos. Gaia was gun, though. Those two have always meddled with human affairs, but they went too far this time. When you press that button, a new universe was born on the future. But all corruption of Gaia, all interferences on free will, created a new being on the past. I. I must... <clears throat> I must fix the transgressions of Kronos and the Antichrist. I will bring justice to Gaia. And to fulfill my fate, I cannot let you sacrifice yourself for Lucy. I need you to choose not to press the button. And throw Lucy's future away? What is this? Yes, you and Lucy. You're Lucy together at last. But you said we were meant to be apart. It is true, or at least it was true. I interfered with the timelines on multiple occasions. <clears throat> As I desperately try to fix the corruption, this caused different outcomes from the usual. Finally, there are timelines where you and your daughter stay together and, ha <clears throat> and happy. If you help me accomplish my fate, I can help you earn your greatest wish. I don't trust you. I understand, but there's only one solution. When you are ready, you must step onto the, the end of this hall. I will tell you what I need you to do. In the meantime, if you still doubt the truth, I gathered everything you need to know on those displays. Is this just showing us? I guess, like, <clears throat> kind of a summary of all the games you played. Um, if you played them over, you know, a couple days uh, or whatever, kind of get more... Uh, concrete answers about what actually happened in some of those let me try to understand what's going on there's an energy inside all of us named gaia right yes the force of life itself and you are a gaia from another universe i'm a being made of gaia just like you are though you were able to enjoy your free will while i have an explicit purpose to be i am not gaia itself gaia is an energy rather than a, a, that rarely has a physical manifest <clears throat> manifestation unlike the antichrist and chronos the vessels for the forces of chaos in order respectfully. <clears throat> respectively. Okay, and you want me to help you fix a problem they caused? Yes, you may see how the corruption of Gaia affected your paths throughout the ages. You just need to check the displays. I organized this very room. There's no rush. You can walk towards the end of the hall whenever you feel ready. Oh, cat, what have you gotten yourself into? Well, we did just play all these games. Uh, for me, you know, it was over the course of a couple hours. I mean... It's over the course of a couple hours for, for y'all as well. Over the course of a day for me, I should say. I think I think we're, we're ready to get a move on. Kronos? No, this is merely a view from a single point in time where he awaits your arrival. Hmm, what am I going to do there? He will ask his help to go back in time and stop the conjuration of the Antichrist to save Lucy. Precisely. After all those branches, all those interventions, this very moment remains unchanged. This event is a universal constant as you are, though uh, <clears throat> though from a different nature than yours. All possibilities from the past converge into this um, this occurrence. My screen like flickered. I was worried something happened with the recording. And from this occurrence, all possibilities branch out into the future. The whole universe bends its will for the universal constant to happen. If anything were to change on the single event, all timelines would adapt themselves to it. I am certain this is the only solution. Catherine, you must kill Kronos on this moment in time. Wait, what? No way! First of all, Kronos is my friend. He fights you on most timelines. I don't believe you. And besides that, he's a god! You can't just kill him! It is true that the Force of Order would try to heal itself. Kronos would be reborn on a new timeline. <clears throat> but what if we caused an irreparable damage to it oh no so this is what this anchor is for to kill not kill end the anchor of fates can sink any fate in the sea of nothingness it is 
Its metal was the raw material the Antichrist used when creating the button to end you. You kill Kronos with the Anchor of Fates, and he ceases to be on all timelines, on all universes. And with this new universal constant in place, he can never give you the choice that corrupts Gaia. But he's my only hope to save Lucy. I will give you Lucy if you do my bidding. Why don't you do it then? Aren't you that cat on his lap? Why does it have to be me? I am vastly superior than any human being. However, I am still made out of Gaia. I cannot touch the artifact, for I am a being of free will, and the anchor is an imposition of destiny. Why can I touch it? When you press that button, your fate sank. Even though we are in the past, you already have no future. <clears throat> you are unbound. Uh, I understand that I ask you too. Uh, I ask you too much, but justice must be achieved by any means. Save Gaia. Save Lucy. Save yourself. Uh, Catherine, it's, it is the only choice. All right. Uh oh, something something's happening to Themis. Lucio. Mom, I don't know what Mr. Glaucoma over there told you, but don't trust him. I'm sure it's bullshit. I told her the truth, the whole truth. Oh yeah? Did you tell her you sucked human souls from innocent people? I needed their Gaia energy. I had to be strong enough to fix the corruption. Shut up. You just want to kill Kronos, uh, Kronos and Damien and take all their power for yourself. If this is what it takes, Mom, this anchor, it's the only thing that can kill him. Remember what I told you about the singularity point? The moment you go to talk to Kronos? If you kill him there, he's going to die forever. He's disguised as Kronos' cat. So it's all true. What? I have no future. I'll never have Lucy. Mom, we need to save the macroverse. I don't know why the word macroverse keeps getting me. Uh, save the macroverse or save yourself. Tell her the truth. What truth? Eh. He is not just a Lucy from another dimension. He is... Uh, uh, he is from the universe without Catherine, the universe born from the corruption. As I approach my fate, his universe slowly fades. Is that true, Lucio? You need to kill him. You're our only hope. I comprehend the will of Gaia shall be honored. Catherine, maybe there is more than one choice after all. What? No, 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 there is no choice. You kill Kronos and live with the Lucy you know and love. No, Catherine... Or you kill me and sacrifice yourself for a Lucy you can never reach. It is time to make a choice. Or, I said, it just said, it's time to choose. <clears throat> okay, so we kill Kronos, and we get Lucy back. Or we, uh, we kill the cat, and the corruption of Gaia does something. Well, 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 look who's back after all this time. How can I help you, Catherine? Uh... Wait, something's wrong. Oh my, Catherine, where did you find this? Who gave you the Anchor of Fates? <clears throat> and now it's time to uh, make our choice. And as we've been making decisions, we want Lucy, so we gotta kill Kronos. Let's see, what did that make? Unbound. Inspect the tape. I can see the chains. It's a game by uh, Nikita Vichuz Hanan Hanin. Vichuz Hanin. I'm I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, let's see. We can uh, we can move. We can pull anchor. Advanced dialogue and throw the anchor. So let's get in there. <clears throat> Well, we have the anchor. We throw the anchor. Okay. Makes sense. We have a combo meter. Always. The... Oh, I must be holding the anchor. Uh, okay, well. Kronos got straight to work. On uh, attacking us. Do I need to... No, I don't need to do anything with that. I assume that we just need to... Break the... Um, the, the television screens like we did before, although maybe uh, the idea is that we should be attacking Kronos. Wherever you went. So, like, if we throw it at Kronos. Yeah, I'm guessing Kronos has, like, some kind of, like, little barrier around him. 
If we smash enough uh, TV screens, perhaps, perhaps his barrier will go down and we'll be able to uh, properly attack him. We're being shot. I don't know if we have health or any of the like. Uh, something, a uh, sentiment I have to keep bringing up uh, in, in the, these games. Where I'm just like, I'm not entirely sure about all of the rules uh, about what's going on and such. Like, we know we have a combo meter. I don't know why. And we're getting score. But I mean, our goal here was to, to kill Kronos. Yeah, but even if I whack him straight on with, with the Anchor of Fates, it doesn't seem to... Uh, do anything. I'm guessing, you know, we need to uh, to take down the barrier. Fortunately, though. Oh, I, I can I can call it back at a distance. That's that's good. I don't have to keep walking over to it. As long as my crosshair is on it, it'll work. Damn. Yeah, this is gonna be a little tricky. Uh, having a hard time throwing the anchor where I want it to go. And I probably shouldn't just be eating damage, even though it does seem like we don't have a health bar. At least one that I see. Please come to me, anchor. Anchor. Yeah, because I'm not sure what we're supposed to do about these higher screens. So I don't have the ability to jump or anything. So I can't get, like, any air... Uh, to get closer to some of these screens. I guess it is just a matter of getting as close as we can and just yeeting it up and hoping for the best. Before we get like right under it. Come back to me. Kronos, can you please stop shooting me? I'm trying to kill you. You're not making it easy. Where did the thing go? Because uh, the problem, the big problem is, even now, that um, I was gonna say all of the things are done. There is, there's one big or or one really high up one. Uh, I'm not sure how we're supposed to. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I'm not sure how we're supposed to reach that, but it was no problem. Okay, his barrier is gone, so now we can start throwing the anchor at him. I'm not sure if this is a one hit kill scenario, since it's like going to. Uh, sink him and like his fate or, or whatever so i would assume if we get him once with this he'll probably go poof yeah there we go you have to dodge what do we have to dodge mm -hmm. catherine chronos you're still alive not for long i'm sorry i had to do it there was no other way it doesn't matter anymore listen carefully as the anchor sinks me down, I can see it all now. Every path you've taken to get to this point. Are you talking about what Gaia has shown me? Just listen. Even Gaia is oblivious to what you've been through. What do you mean? Normal people like Ezra are bound to, to chains. Every version of them lives a contained life. Your fate was sunk before, and yet you were brought back to existence. With no fate to bind yourself to any chain's end and live the rest of your life. Something transports you to uh, the start of another over and over again. Look, whatever you say, sure, but Lucy's in danger, and I need to help her. I I just adore, like, how just fucking spot on, like, hey, yeah, all this cosmic shit, cool, whatever. Where the fuck's Lucy? <laughs> Eyes on the prize. You already did. What's worse is that it seems like you'll have to do it many more times. I can't see your end. It's almost as if you've been cursed to haunt the chains until there are none left. What are you on about? Stop trying to confuse me. Catherine, I couldn't care less about playing mind games right now. Ugh. What? So, what can I do? Is there anything I can do at all? Catherine, don't give up. But if all you said is true, there has to be a way for you to save yourself. Oh, oh it swapped. Yeah. Kronos? Kronos, answer me. Oh, oh. Oh, God. If you can hear me. If whatever's out there can hear me. Please, let me go. I want to go home. I want to see Lucy again. I want to see her grow up. I want to see Ezra again. I miss him so much. Let me go. We've seen so much, right? So many different places, events, characters. I'm not sure we've explored 
I'm sure we've explored all there is. The chains are infinite. What? Explore the infinity, or we can let Catherine go. I guess let's explore the infinite, baby. Explore the explore the infinity. We have SSC official earthquake guide. Includes signs interactive demo. 1989, a game from Pasta's Future, an incredible username. Sign E, is that like a 5 or an S? Doing something with, with trig. I'm not, I'm not going to think, I do not want to think about trigonometry right now. Uh, but we, we got to continue onwards and explore the infinity. <clears throat> Welcome to SSC Offline Training Program Disc 1. This disc contains digitized guides and our latest interactive demo. Okay, our Seismic Safety Commission website. Step one, if you are indoors, stay there, drop, cover, and hold on. Get under a sturdy desk or table and hang on to it. Move into a hallway or get against an inside wall. Stay clear. If you are outside, get into the open. Away from buildings, power lines, chimneys, and anything else that might fall on you. If you are driving, stop. Move your move your car as far out of traffic as possible. Do not stop under a bridge or an underpass. Un, under trees, light posts, power lines, or signs. Stay, if you are... Uh, on or near a steep hillside, watch out for landslides, falling rocks, trees, and other debris could be loosened by earthquakes. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let's go to the next one. Okay, I guess we'll go back. Planning ahead. Planning ahead of a natural disaster is of the utmost importance. Remember, a plan can save you and your family. Uh, one, create a family disaster plan, practice and maintain the plan. Two, make and complete a checklist. Three, plan home escape routes. Four, make sure each uh, member of your family knows what to do, uh, no matter where they are when an earthquake occurs. Uh, know where your gas, electric, and water main shutoffs are and how to turn them off. If there's a leak, uh, step six, talk to your neighbors. How can they help you or help them after an earthquake? You should trust them, and they should trust you. Step seven, make sure to have supplies to last for at least three days. The most important are medication for your family, food, water, a battery-powered radio, right clothing, matches, flashlight, and a first aid kit. Remember, don't use anything that's a fire hazard. Okay. We're learning a lot about earthquakes. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in an earthquake. I've lived in Texas all my life, so not really a thing that you have to worry about, typically. General device and showcase. Uh, complimentary annex to the next guide, or to the quick guide. <clears throat> One, if you're unsure about the situation, consult our guide and trust your senses. Never uh, make the mistake of leaving a safe area until the officials have said over a radio it's safe to do so. Do not underestimate a potential threat. What looks safe by a quick glance could end up costing your life. Always assess carefully. The most uncertain science of all. I can't minimize. None of these buttons seem to do anything. I'm not able to type in there. You know, just have to look around, see if, if we could find anything. So those are the guides, the interactive uh, demo. You're about to launch the interactive demo. Please make sure you watch our archived guides first for optimal training experience. Let's do it. Okay, so we have the signs. Hmm? Oh, I see. Okay, so we're in the aftermath of an earthquake, it would appear. 
we're able to move around a bit. It seems like we were like in a uh, like parking structure, perhaps an apartment building. Kind of hard to say. I'm not sure where we should be going. I would assume we would probably want to make our way over to that um that flashing light thing. Looks like it could be important, but I don't know. It's not really much that we can do. Don't know how to interact with anything. Yeah, we just kind of seem to be going around in circles. I'm not, not, not sure. Yeah, not sure what we could really do here. Not a lot going on. Not exactly sure how this trains us for uh, an earthquake either. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little confused. Uh oh, wait, did I do something with my... What is... Okay. Um, recording's still going fine. For some reason, I, I clicked out at one point, and I must have made something weird happen. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do with this with this demo. Yeah, hmm. Well, I guess we can just back out. I mean, if we stand still, we can see like some things moving around. But yeah, I don't I don't really know what to to make out of this. Uh, I mean, we just see some devastation caused by an earthquake. I can't click on anything. We're just able to move around. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just. We'll back out the manual way, and I'll go ahead and click on that so it won't stay yellow. We'll just leave. We can go back into the game. It seems like I'm not sure what, what to make out of that that interactive demo. Uh, we can check the FAQ. Oh, okay, never mind. That I guess that was the, the end of the thing. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to make of that. Maybe it's some kind of secret deal uh like maybe we learn something somewhere else that would help us figure that out explore the infinity it took us to the internet it, it, seemingly um from here this one is going to make us give up Catherine. so i'm not sure if maybe we should go check out some of these other ones before we commit to giving up on Catherine, because that sounds pretty um pretty definitive so we'll uh, end themis With this one, we have a game called Choices, and it has Themis on there. Choose your path. It's a game by Infinite Noodle. Let's play. Oh, my Catherine. Who gave you the Anchor of Fate? An old friend of yours, Kronos. We had an interesting conversation. All those things I heard. I need to save Lucy, no matter what. I don't understand, Cat. I thought we were business partners. You're right, Kronos. No! Themis, I always knew something was wrong. Let's end this now. <clears throat> you two small rats think you can stop me? Hey, I can help. Yeah, there's three small rats now. Cat, take this gun and let's shoot this flying Slyclop. But before shoot, before shooting, picking up an hourglass while frozen, Themis won't be able to protect itself. Okay. For some reason, this game has a bit of lag to it. I'm not exactly sure. So they're just they're just chilling there. We were told to pick up the uh, hourglass, although the, the hourglass does seem to disappear occasionally. We have some kind of like shotgun type deal, so I figure we probably want to get closer to Themis and our 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 son and our friend. Totally, a lot of lot of help being offered. And there we go. We just shoot Themis until we were able to drop the uh, anchor. Congratulations, Cat! You defeated Themis. 
but now you have to decide. Are you gonna help me or Kronos? I I guess we'll we'll help we'll help Lucio. We'll, I mean, we'll come back for you, Kronos. But you know, you know how it is, family, family and all that. Just a smudge. Fen. Uh oh, this one's this one's labeled Fen. So maybe maybe we'll actually come back to help Lucio. Sorry, Lucio. We're we're gonna help Kronos. Actually, inspect. Um, can't really tell what this is either. Inspect tape. That's a game by Mike, and we are going to, um, we're just going to WSD D to move. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, I do not remember what we're helping Kronos do exactly. Oh, we're, we're somewhere. I think I'm moving. It's kind of hard to tell. It does seem like I'm making progress towards over there. Do I want to go over there? I mean, it's not like... Oh, okay. Well, something happened. Well, okay. Well, the anti the antichrist got us on that one. Um, well, all right. I'm this one being labeled Fen. Uh, I think we might want to come back to it. Although giving up, let Catherine go seems like a pretty big like. Oh, this is going to be the last one. Well, let's inspect this. I know the end. Inspect tape. I cannot read that. This is a game by. Mm. So what should we do? We can let Catherine go, or we can help Lucio. Uh, I I guess we'll. I assume that we're not gonna like play this one, and it's like, oh, it's actually done, no more. Or if we're like picking, which one will be our final, our final game. But let's 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 help Lucio. I don't remember what Lucio want. Lucio wanted something to do with his June. I I. I honestly don't know. So let's let's help Lucio. <clears throat> Press enter. Well, mother, the choice is yours. Who will you help? Me or Kronos? Uh, Kronos, my friend. I'm sorry, but Lucius, my alternate and antiverse son, daughter. And it's too late after everything we've already done. But Catherine, you made the right choice, Catherine. Now, you must kill Kronos. What? But, but Lucio, he is my friend. I helped him in the past that uh, one time. Surely he's uh, not so much of a threat that we can end his this life. This isn't no. about moralistic perspective anymore, mother. This is about the stake of the universe. But what will killing Kronos have to fix? It's his blood, Catherine. Don't you see? He is one third of Trigor. If one is able to gain the collective soul essence of each Arch Fiend, they have the ability to see fit to change not just their own reality, but every conceivable reality in the expanded universe. Mother, kill Kronos. Surely you cannot be serious about this, Catherine. <laughs> Catherine, I didn't think you would actually pull through in the end. Let's just kill the Antichrist, Damien, or whoever, and be done with this. But of course, Mother. But first... Wait, who the hell are you? Catherine Blanche. My name is Hobbit. 
Don't trust this man. He cannot be trusted. And he is also a pervert and a terrible person. Please don't do what he says. You know what? Fuck <coughs> you both. I can do this whole thing by myself. I have the anchor of... No! You know so... No! You know so little of its power. You! I don't give a hell if you're Lucian or not. You're helping me now. With what? With kill the Antichrist. Uh... There you are. And Antichrist, I've come for Lucy and your blood. No, Catherine, you sold my puzzle ring. Regardless of this fact, I will still kill you yet, you stupid fool. Perhaps. But I've come to trust many over these last few hours of in-game, and I've made many friends. And we're gonna kick your ass. Use the anchor of fates to defeat Damien. You, uh, use the mouse to, to drag him and kill him. Okay. Kronos' continual death button. Yep, this is this is how the uh, the anchor works. We all were aware of it the entire time. Our plan to uh, kill Damien Christ. I don't I don't think the Antichrist's last name is Christ. I don't think it works that way. What does the death button do? Oh, cool. We can push that to deal some extra damage. Being very careful with my mouse so I don't whip it out of the of the uh, recording space uh, like I did with the um, the golf mini game. Oh yeah, that that one that one got the uh, Antichrist pretty good. You know, I would say the Antichrist seems to have a lot of HP, but you, one would probably expect for the Antichrist to be a uh, a tough customer. I'm not sure if just the best way to do this would just like we can get him in a corner and kind of like you know, hit, can hit him against multiple things multiple times uh, in quick succession. Like, all right, get him over here and just, like, I can't really keep him in a corner the way I wanted to, but it's fine. He's almost dead, so we'll just we'll just drop some bombs, slam him down, and there we go. It was that easy. That's how you defeat the Antichrist. Using the anchor. What a narratively satisfying conclusion to the story. I mean, we, we all knew it was about Trigor the whole time. Uh, so that was that was an interesting one, uh, which only leaves us with the last one, which I guess is to, uh, to let Catherine go. You have let Catherine go. There is nothing left for you here. Makes sense. Yeah, there's there's nothing left for us here. Well, this is an interesting. Oh, something's happening. 
Hmm? Is it just going to close or? Oh, okay, I guess the, the light just turned out after a bit. So this is an interesting game. Uh, games, I suppose. You, quite a few of them. I, I like the idea for this project. It seems very interesting to kind of just branch off this way and just go all over the place. Um, just going wherever <laughs> the, the game before kind of led, uh, which, you know, leads to some events, you know, like, oh, you know, you start looking for your daughter, got to kill the Antichrist. Where does that go? Sometimes you have to fight Kronos, the God of Time. Sometimes you kill God. Um, sometimes you go to Animal Crossing Town. So I think this was a very neat little uh, project, you know, a lot of fun little games. There were way more in here than I anticipated. Um, oh, also, these are... Oh, you know what it is? Okay. I was going to... Um, <clears throat> earlier, whenever we played this half, I was like, oh, this branch is much larger than this one. But I, I was um, <clears throat> I was counting this as part of it. So no, these are, these are equal in size. And then we have our, our final one. So this is an interesting project. What is it is mm? so overarching story? You go to kill the Antichrist, and just shit just keeps shit just keeps happening, and different shit keeps happening, and uh, it's a whole multi or excuse me, a whole macro verse thing of branching timelines and such. I do appreciate the the way the tone is for the game. You know, it never takes itself too too seriously there are some more serious moments throughout the game uh but then you also just get stuff like this one where you know maybe maybe uh make it some make it some goof them up some some little jokes having some fun so you know it's an interesting project you know some of these games um you know some are better than others you know it's just just the way it was. It was always going to work out. Um, that being said, there's a lot of like little neat ones in here that um, we don't spend a lot of time in. That but I thought were interesting, like the one where we, we go to kill God, um, and you know it's just a small like hallway with a little bit of platforming, and then you shoot God once and it's done. Wasn't really expecting it to go that way. You know, like a lot of like weird like ideas that I wouldn't have expected, like that RPG one, like. There was like, well, there was multiple RPG ones, but the RPG one that was kind of what I think is Ultima-y. Um, like, throwing together like that, that like, you know, combat engine for, you know, like what? There was like five fights in that game. Uh, it was very interesting. Um, it, it is just fun to see like the overarching thing of like, what do the characters look like? Ah, eh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Like, there's a few times where they reuse models across games but i really appreciated it like anytime they show a character and they look completely different i feel like chronos gets that the most um although the the one that i think i found the funniest was anytime they show lucy and it's just a completely different child um i really enjoyed that uh it's kind of hard to say what an overarching you know plot like i mean it's you know, metaverse, not metaverse, Jesus fucking Christ, uh, macro verse, uh, stuff happening, branching timelines. It's, it, it, it's a lot. There's a lot of things here. There were a lot more games than I anticipated, uh, but I really enjoyed that. It's fun to see, you know, the community come together and, um, put something together like this kind of, um, building off of the haunted PS one demo discs, uh, where, um, you know, they have this, like, launcher where you launch different games. Uh, so even though this is a game, it's, you know, launching all these other ones. I thought it was really neat. I uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait to, you know, now that I'm done, I can go watch Man Car Time. Car Time Man. Man. So that was Changed. The Chronological Haunted Anonymous Interconnected Narrative Guide Each Decision by the Haunted PS1 Community.